at the Elderton Curling Club just outside of London, Ontario for the Southwestern Ontario Women's Cash Spiel. It's the Luberdum Women's Tour of Curling here on WTSN. She's a familiar face on the women's cash bill circuit and at the Scott Tournament of Hearts, representing Saskatchewan, first of all, it's Sherry Madaw, later playing in Ontario, now skipping a team that came third last year at the Scott Tournament of Hearts. She's from a tough province, Mary Manitow, playing out of the Mayflower in Halifax. Colleen Jones is a big team there, winning the Worlds last year, but Mary, she's looking for the Scott Tournament of Hearts and cash this season. Well, welcome back, everyone. This is the second tour stop this year. 32 teams playing here at the Ilderton Curling Club and area clubs in the Southwestern Ontario Women's Cash Spiel. Remember, we started last weekend in Calgary with a cash spiel that was won by Kathy King, a very good performance over the weekend for her. This week, it's the Four Rock Rule in London, Ontario, and that's why some of the teams are coming, those training for the Olympic trials. Then we go to Winnipeg and Saskatoon. And so it's a busy season, things underway already, and joining us on every tour stop is two-time Canadian champion Kathy Goche. And Kathy, it was a very unique format using four curling clubs in the area. Well, it really pushes the teams a little bit, particularly the skips to pick up ice quickly. These teams played in two different clubs over the course of the weekend. They qualified somewhere else last night. They played the quarterfinals somewhere else this morning, and now they're here for the first time. So it is challenging, but that makes these teams strong. And we have two very experienced skips to bring us to this level. We have Mary Matatal, first of all, former champion herself at the provincial level. How did she get here? Well, she finished first in her pool, so she certainly hasn't had any blips on the radar screen. Last night, a really strong performance over Michelle Pellegrin, and then this morning, taking no prisoners against Denichelle, 10 to 3. And of course, the other team, Sherry Madaw, skipping, and she is a tough customer on the Cashville circuit. She's had a great year. She's leading the tour with 11,000 points so far, and once again, she had a strong performance. She finished second in her pool, good enough to get her through. Last night, squeaking out an extra end victory over Melanie Palmer, and then this morning, showing really, really some good poise and some strength against a great uh, Swedish team in Annette Dorberg. So we'll be back in a moment. It's the first semifinal here on WTSN. Women's Tour of Curling is brought to you by Husky and Mohawk Retailers and Mother Nature's Fuel Ethanol Gasoline. Discount Car and Truck Rental, the people who pick you up. For reservations, call 310 Cars. Well, the teams that play in our second semifinal may have a bit of an advantage watching the ice. Reading the Ice is brought to you by Whirlpool. Just imagine. And here's Kathy. It's the first game in Elderton for these ladies today. They're going to see about two and a half feet around the center guards. Around the corner guards, it's also about two and a half feet, but where it finishes hard, it really will break at the end. Around the outside is the most movement that they are going to find, three to three and a half feet. The trick for today is the humidity in the air. That converts into frost. It's going to happen. The question is when and who picks up the fastest. Here's the teams that will be playing in this first semifinal on top. Mary Matatal the skip. Heather Smith-Dacey at third. Lainey Peters at second. And Kelly Anderson at lead. Sherry Madaw, Janet Brown, Andrea Laws, and Sherry Gordina. Cordina. You know, last year she was Cortina, so I apologize in advance. That's the team from Ontario playing in this semifinal. And Sherry will lead it off. Mary Matatal will have the hammer in the first stand now. We're looking at new ice for these teams. They've had a short time to practice. What is this going to mean in the first couple of ends for this game? One of the things that, that the teams have Baseball. had the advantage that uh, you may no, not have been no, able no, to no, see, or maybe no. you saw when Linda and I were speaking Real earlier, tight. was that no. each team was given 10 minutes, much like the Lines format there, that we I'm see tight. at the Scott Tournament of Hearts. So they have a chance to throw the rocks up and down, get a sense a little bit to what it's going to do and get a feel for yep. weight. This is just as quick as this morning. That's 
Now you're going to hear comments like that this morning. Remember, was at a different curling club, the Highland okay. Country Club. So when they're referring to weights in the first part of this game, they're saying the same as that other club yeah, we just played so. in. This is Kelly Anderson, and Mary one? and Kelly did play together in the Scott Tournament of Hearts in 1989. That one held in Kelowna. Mine's good, easy. Clean. But this is a new team this year. Clean. Kelly joining the squad. Yep, yep. Just a little bit of explanation. We yep. talked at the top Clean. of the show about the pools. Clean. What they do yep. in London, it's Clean. the very first Central. time that this event has gone Start to 32 Kelly. teams. It's traditionally 24. What they do is they divide them into pools of four. There were eight pools. The top two teams in each pool advanced to the next round. So we had 16 teams last Clean. night. Those went into a sudden Clean. death single knockout format yep. to reduce the field to eight this right morning up. that was played at the Highland uh, Country Club. Curry. And from that, we have four, right two that you see right now and no two that you'll see no in our wrong. semifinal later on okay, sure. this evening. No good chance and that hit by Sherry will roll out. Leaves the house wide open for Mary. We'll have a look, and corner, she's going to play the right. corner guard. Five for corner, don't you? <coughs> yeah, five. Sometimes uh, what we've seen in the past, well, certainly last weekend in Calgary, and often at the Scott teams are playing, you know, relatively conservatively for the first couple okay, ends. Good. It's actually right on, good late. to see Mary wanting to go a little bit Corner. early on. Uh, she could choose to in? throw this rock in the house and play a very Trying conservative first end, but choosing Take to use her last right. rock advantage, well, which she won by virtue of a toss tight. before the game, to ask for the corner guard. Although it looks like it might okay. be slipping in. Kelly. Good. No, never say anything, Kelly. Normal. Never say it till it's finished. <laughs> it's, it's the one lesson we do learn. Now, remember, we are playing four rock rule, but the Leeds rocks have completed, and so that means that Andrea Laws, the second for the Sherry Madaw team, can play a hit on that front stone. Yep. It's also important to remember right in the four rock rule, Whoa, it does mean clean. that you wait until the fourth stone, clean. but the difference clean. is that Nice you can it. remove no your own stone from play. So it is a little bit different than the three guard zone where you don't touch any of those stones or remove any of those stones from play. And certainly one of the reasons that we have seen the European influence in this bonds bill, teams that have already been declared for the Olympic trials, and certainly one of the reasons that Sherry Madaw and her team is in this is because they will face the whoa, four whoa, rock whoa, rule whoa, when they play whoa, in Regina whoa, whoa, in December for the right to represent Canada whoa. at the no, Salt Lake City no. Olympic Games. Trying hard. Trying hard. Lainey Peters with the hit. We did see a number of teams from outside of Canada, teams from the United States, Scotland, Sweden, and Switzerland Wait, coming to play. They were telling us they're coming over early, going home when their season really gets going, which is probably later, perhaps November, before the cash bills in Europe really get started for women. Now, right in my up. opinion, and we've seen Hooray. this lady a lot, Andrea Laws played in the 1990 Worlds with Alison Goring. Whoa, I think she's whoa, a key whoa. member Margin of this team. It. She That's really good. is sort of an anchor at that second position. She is, Linda, and it's not just about Andrea's shooting ability. She's a very strong player, but she's got a tremendous personality on a team. She's the kind of player that will remain constant. If you're up, she's going to just be your stabilizing influence and remind you that the game's not over yet. Uh, and if you're down, she's going to be a fighter that keeps the team very positive in their approach to the game. 92. Side to the ring. When we talk about uh, strength in the middle of the team, Lainey Peters, uh, many time mixed no, participant. She's tight. also very That's strong good. in that position. Okay. Looking for tight. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's good, 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 good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good, whoa. So a corner nice. and they try on the other side of the house just to change uh, the momentum try around. Right on. Normal. Have also a chance in the first end to see what each side of the rink does, which is really important. Janet Brown playing third for Sherry Madaw, a former skip yep. herself and has played in this cash right field up. previously as a skip. Hurry! Whoa! whoa Hoping whoa, to whoa, hit whoa, about whoa, three quarters whoa, whoa, of this whoa, and whoa, roll whoa, right whoa, onto the whoa, rings. Whoa, no roll. Good shot. <laughs> nice shot. And it sticks around. I think regular here, Heather. Regular. Regular? Yep. <coughs> you heard the applause. They have bleachers out here this morning in Elderton, and they have quite a substantial following, which is great for these players out there. But it certainly does add 
a new dynamic to the game as well. Now, Heather Smith Dacey is another one of these people we've seen at the mixed, and she has been very impressive, and she plays good. third whoa, at the mixed right and moves off. into the third slot for Mary. So how I'm important good. is that going to be to have that kind Looking of experience? Good, Huge. I, I think there's no question whoa, uh, that whoa. this is a stronger team for having it's added Heather. More. She is a, a great player, and the fact okay, that her good. success has been primarily at the mixed uh, is not a reflection of Heather. It's just, you know, she's got some strong teams. Hello. In fact, Heather and her husband, Mark Dacey, formerly of Saskatchewan, have already uh, won the right to represent uh, Nova Scotia at the mix this year that's taking place in Halifax. And the other member of that team is Lainey and her husband as well. Yep, yep. Right up. Playing a fairly Hi. wide open end and not to be unexpected because moving to a right new up, ice surface, right up, right learning right about the opponent, good learning shot. about the ice. It's a really good way to start. I think that it's all right to take a little bit of uh, chances, uh, you know, to the point of throwing a not corner on. guard. But okay. I okay. think that had we stayed in the same club over the course of the weekend, like this here? may have been, you here. know, the ninth game that these teams were playing. You could expect that we could would see here, a little bit more aggressive here, tactics. Here. But as go you say, now. Linda, it's, it's the first nah. all the way around. Go here. Options are so great. Now, of course, if I was going to uh, play devil's advocate, as Vic Router, our colleague, often does, <laughs> how long would you wait? If you're expecting Frost to come into the game, how long would you Line's wait good. before you threw up some front Line's stones good. next Line's and good. the end after? When would it be? To be honest with you, um, I'm not sure if these teams are aware that we're going to have a frost problem. I talked to the ice maker before the game, and he said just Need because help? of the humidity, uh, it may very Step well on. happen. Most teams, uh, specifically at this level, uh, for sure Sherry's team, and I would be surprised if it's not the case with Mary, have talked about this game. They know the opponents. They've come into this with a plan or a, a they, the way that they play. They either play it clean for the first two or um, I think that at this point what we're seeing is two teams feeling each other out. And then if their game plan is to go starting about the next end, I think you'll see Mary take some more chances. Just control. Sherry Madaw led this team to the Scott Tournament of Hearts last year, had a terrific run, made it to the semifinal before losing. And she often has a very aggressive tight hmm. play, so we may see her be the one to start it off. Yeah. And don't forget that Sherry Madaw will be a part of the field at the Women's Skins game. That's a JVC TSM Women's Skins game early November, November 10th and 11th at the Royal City Curling Club in New Westminster, along with Kelly Law and Colleen Jones. Kelly, by the fact that she won because last year the Skins game, and Colleen Jones, of course, the bigger. Scott Tournament of Hearts and World Champion. I was talking to Sherry before the game, and uh, Sherry's team was scheduled initially to play in that JVC Women's here, Classic in Winnipeg next weekend. Uh, they have decided to withdraw, mostly because they have been on the road. This is their third weekend in a row. Uh, what Sherry said is that between each of the bonds bills, they've had approximately one day at home, and they've got a really big goal this year that's the first weekend of December, and they want to balance playing and be ready to go with the fatigue factor. And so their decision is to take the next weekend off. She said that her husband, Wayne uh, Madaw, who's also doing tremendously well on the tour, is taking next weekend off. So they'll be a little bit like a family and then just go back on the trail after that. We'll see both yep. Wayne Madaw's right team and yep. Sherry right Madaw's yep. team yep. at those yep. Olympic yep. trials right in back, December Kelly. in Regina. I saw stopwatches out all round. Kathy had her stopwatch out. What are we looking at draw weight in this first end? We're probably looking at about, if you time between the two hog lines, we're looking at about 14. It started at about 12 and a half. If you want to convert that from hog line to stop, we were at about 22 and a half. It's going up to about 23, 24. So we're going to be getting quicker and quicker ice conditions for the first part Control. of this game. And it is a really important thing, particularly yeah. in a new club, to have the stopwatches out. It's a great extra guide for the sweepers and for the team. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clean, yep, whoa. Clean it. 
Just throwing Ball easy control Ball weight at it. Ball she can Ball see all of it. There's not Ball sure Ball. how much it's going to move. Just clean. Just clean. Yeah. Nicely done. Now that's something I think a lot of people at home can learn from. She did not throw it hard. The rock was fully open. There was a guard on maybe the tiny yeah. corner. But that is something where you can really save the shooter with that kind of weight. Absolutely, Linda. You throw a big weight, particularly uh, early in the game, where we're seeing mm -hmm. the ice running relatively straight with some weight, and it's going to be rolling out, which yeah, then right. allows Mary Manitola hey a very free here. blank. Roll out. For Mary, you heard her say firm roll out. For her, it's a different objective. She wants to have her shooter roll out. For Sherry, she really did want to stick around, and Gee. that's a, an extra weight what? to have in your arsenal. That's uh, It's a great asset. Well, he's coming handy for something. So we're saying that the Yellowstone on the front of the house is outside, and we're assuming this is for a blank. Mary Matatal looking to carry the hammer to the second end. Yep, clean, yep, yep. Whoa, yep, yep. Whoa, clean. Whoa. Clean, clean. Great throw, Mayor. And she'll get it, so. We're just underway here, and there is no score in this first end. But Mary Matatov has the hammer, moving into two. Accommodations for the Southwestern Ontario Women's Cash Spiel provided by the Radisson Hotel and Suites, located in the heart of London, Ontario. We're just underway in the second end, and we're going to see Sherry Cordina play a front hmm. rock, but that one really curled. I don't know if it caught something. They were looking for a centerline area rock. I don't know whether it, it just sort of slid out of her hand sideways or they hadn't taken enough ice, but there's no question, Linda, that rock was not Sherry. where they wanted it to Let's be. Go front. Yep. Okay. Corner's good. So both teams looking for front stones, and uh, that could mean some action. Now remembering that this is the four rock free guard zone rule, where you cannot remove an opponent's rock until after the four stone at the end has come to Mine's rest, good. if it's lying four. in that free guard zone, the area between the hog line and the house. Where are we? Halfway. Okay. Yep, gotta go. One more. Sweeper's working pretty hard on this side of her hand. That's good. That's good. Nice shot. <laughs> Top eight weight. Stone on the left-hand side as you face it wasn't exactly where Sherry Madaw did want it, but thought she might as well take good use of it. And so asking her lead Sherry to just tap it up ever so where slightly. Where are we? Tapping four foot. No. Now this is one of the things that I think they a lot go. of teams are looking to build into their repertoire, they and go. that is the yeah. raises, both yes. the draw whoa, weight raises, whoa, whoa, this whoa. one is, and maybe the bigger whoa. runbacks as well. Particularly with yes, women's curling, we've seen a lot Three, more quick. of this over the last Hi, couple Janet. of years. We've been seeing right that over. in men's play for a while, That's but good. I think that uh, it is only in the last couple of years that that women's teams have played with many more rocks in play and are, are much more comfortable with it. But with that does mean that you have to have a broader range in your arsenal. You're still throwing the intern and the outturn, but your ability to throw like a variety this, of weights I like that. is now yeah. a significant uh, asset. Normal weight. Mary just not comfortable with where that Wait, stone Mary, is. That's on, eh? Yep. Okay. Now she could get the hit and roll or something else from the stone that's further into the rings. Why select this one? With last rock, the most important thing is, as a player is that you want to have access to that forefoot. If, if the other team's well, lying well. six and you keep Here trying comes. things, yep. as long as you have access well. to the forefoot well, and well. have draw weight in your arsenal, <laughs> <laughs> which is a contributing right factor right. if they're lying six, right over, right over. that's hard really hard what hard you hard want. Hard and hard what hard if you don't have last rock, you want to keep the play to the wings, keep the, uh, the front right open the for yourself. Control. And now for Sherry, because she knows exactly what Mary's planning to do, which is to make use of those stones on the wings. She wants to remove that stone and keep her shooter right in front of the house. So it's a little bit of a chess match right now. Who controls the front of the house? Oh. 
And see, I know you know the answers to all of these. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm back at curling quiz school here. But Vicky oh, maybe did so. That was a good one. I'll <laughs> mark those answers. <laughs> with John Wells, I know Caroline. he doesn't know. Whoa. But with you. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, good. Dear. Nice shot by Andrea Laws. Rolls a little bit further than she wanted. But it is uh, Mada throwing yellow, long sitting roll, two. You might get the two of them. Normal week. I wouldn't even mind a little more. Now she has last rock. Do you need to play the hit? You don't have to, for sure. You've got a corner guard on the other side. If you wanted to play whoa, whoa, aggressively, whoa, another no, no, choice no, for Mary and no. her team would to be Hicks use the first. corner guard. No. Those stones that she's making the play at are only in the 12 foot. But Trying because it's early for Mary, I guess the, the comfort zone is okay, to just remove some good. stones from play. Little flop this way. Just control. So for Sherry? wanting to ensure that without last rock, there aren't blue stones in play and thinking that if she can roll just a little bit, a little side glance to the little girl <laughs> in the crowd. Sherry, of course, has a two-year-old daughter at home. I think that little girl was ready for the second semifinal, which features a Swiss team. I saw a Swiss cowbell on that hand, I think. You can see that line, rock running very, very straight with any sort of weight. We know what Sherry Madal is planning for in this cash bill season. It is the women's curling trials in December. Sherry Anderson, of course, also top of the money list. There is some Bondsville winners. Colleen Jones, our world champion last year. Remember last weekend, Kathy King, how well she did. She's gearing up. Marie-France LaRouche also here this weekend. And Kelly Law, the 2000 world champion. That's right, and, and Marie France whoa. is uh, someone whoa, that whoa, whoa, we all got whoa. to see last year for the very first time. Unless, of course, you're in Quebec, you probably That's had the okay. chance to Line's see her before that. Uh, Marie France okay. winning this Line's morning, no. and so she you will face a tough opponent from uh, Switzerland this evening, oh, and we'll be bringing that game to you now. live. Whoa, whoa. No, now, here, Linda, is what we talked about earlier, which was that there was the corner guard. The option was whoa, to use that corner guard and go around it. We thought that perhaps Mary's plan was to minimize rocks, but. The choice now was to go around that corner, third. sliding a little bit deep. A third? Yeah. So, so advantage all day to the dog. It? It's, it's just, just at the back of the house, and they or were having a look okay to see too. how much of that blue stone in the rings peeks out okay. from behind the guard, and they think they can see a little bit of it. Janet Brown. A couple options for Sherry and Janet here. They already lie one. That stone of Mary Matatal is second shot. It's at the back of the house. Whoa, Another option that. that they have is to use no, the corner guard and just play whoa. the draw to lie two. Uh, the no, decision whoa. was to throw sort of back ring weight to remove it from play altogether. No, not yet. No, you'd call this a pretty yeah, defensive yeah, call. Yeah, you can clean it. Absolutely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good shot. That's good. Look again, at this Heather. field at the curling trials. Men's teams, we have former champions, Kerry Burtnick, Randy Furby, and his team. David Nedwin, of course, throwing last and being at the Worlds last year. Russ Howard, Kevin Martin. This is the who's who of men's curling in Canada. You go right down that list, and I defy you to pick out a favorite. That is a tough field. Huge field, just a huge field. And I think that that says that the process that was used I'm to good. select teams was obviously Wait a very good one because that is just awesome. Gotta go for and a of course, uh, TSN will be okay. there three oh, draws a day okay. starting December room. 1st. Give room. That's where oh, you ditch whoa. me for Ray. <laughs> and I get to play with Guy Hemmings on the morning show. I wonder if he'll be up. <laughs> Hang on, uh, do you have a comb handy for the morning draw? Well, right after, they did, that hair, after they ran that footage of me from the 92 Buffont look, I'm <laughs> expecting to see some footage of Guy Hemmings here. I'll tell you right now. This top eight, top 12. Two chances uh, for Mary Matatal to get around that corner guard. The first one going to the back of the house. This one sliding through. And once again, for Sherry Madaw, a chance to use that corner guard. Lines good, close. And lie Lines two. Good. Lines good, close. The biggest objective here Where? is to either steal a point or no. force Mary Matatal and her yeah. team to yeah. give up that last rock whoa. advantage. Whoa, 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 whoa. And they'd love to leave this one in front of the T line and not leave a come around right back sit. for the Matatal team. Sit. Nice shot. <laughs> Nicely done.
a great shot by Janet. Janet was not here yesterday. She attended her sister's Sorry, wedding, and so she left at about 5 a.m. this morning to make it back for the 8 a.m. game. The and so there, the team wanted to give kudos to Julie McMullen, who stepped like in better? and was their spare yesterday while Janet was being a bridesmaid. Yeah, okay. You guys He'll play hard for the role. You want more? Yeah. In looking at the yellow stone that was just thrown by uh, the Madaw team, the decision was they couldn't see enough of it to remove from play, and their best opportunity to remove, too, was to make a play at the double. Whoa. Yep. Heather yeah. smith Stacy. Quick! Oh, you gotta go! Hard! hard. Please, go hard! hard. Need about a half. Hard, hard. Ooh, sorry, Heather, my fault. Mary suggesting that perhaps it was the ice, a little bit more fault. needed. <coughs> Pinched you in the room there, I didn't let that Yeah, you did. So, if you're Sherry and Janet, uh, what mm -hmm. are you plotting? Where do you put this one? I mean, she's probably going to try it. She has nothing to lose, right? Yeah. You guys like splitting or just come down to it? Pardon me? Okay. It's got to be here then. Pause a bit. Talked about a number of options, talked about coming down here. The other option they talked about was splitting the house. I'm not sure what it accomplishes other than force them to take one. Let's go on top then. Well, it's a pretty nice shot. And of course, we know that you meant the yellow rock. Thank yeah. you very much, Linda. They have an opportunity to lie too here. What do you guys like? Because she's going to probably corner freeze. Talking about the option, Sherry feels that the shot that Mary will mm -hmm. likely play, likely. which is really important, to always think what your opponent is likely to do, will play the freeze down to it. Now, Sherry feels if she plays the freeze sure. down to it, she's going to be half in the eight and half in the 12 foot. And the best way, in her opinion, to combat against that is to draw to the open side in the eight foot, in which case they would still lie too, even if Mary does make that perfect freeze. Mary Still choosing to remove the stone from play, just thrown by Sherry because it is wide open. I threw that really well. It was a good chance for Sherry to get the feel yeah, for draw weight. It's there. placed nicely, evenly across the house. Look, you could draw yep. a beautiful line right across, and that means there's no double takeout possible. It's always a nice feeling as a skip to throw those early draws and put them right where you want them. And we've seen a lot of big draws from Sherry over the years. Have indeed, but like you say, it's... In every game, it's always that first one that you make that just says, yeah, I know exactly how to get it there. Yeah. You've seen earlier, this rock runs pretty straight. With any sort of weight. Okay. For Sherry, many you may be thinking she just threw the draw. Why wouldn't she throw another one in the house? She's about to achieve her objective. If she's able to hit and stick on this shot, she'll lie too. And Mary Matatal will either have to concede a point or she'll have to take one, which was really what this was all about, forcing the other team to give up that last rock advantage or it's dealing. Sherry Madaw with the intern hit on the side blue. Yep, lean, yep. Yep, hurry. Clean, Quick. clean, hurry. Throwing clean, less weight clean, than clean, Mary yep, Madaw. Yep. Right up. But icing herself for that. And why the switch of turns? Good. Well, that's interesting. I was thinking that the difference between the two skips is that Mary, we've seen in the last end, seems to it prefer looks soft, outside but in. It's so quick. Uh, Sherry yeah. preferring inside yep. out. And again, you see that yep. Mary is going from the I outside in. No big deal. Sometimes it's just a preference. Sherry, of course, also does know this ice from having won here last year. They really like 
this place. It's been you very guys, good so to them. We'll just go hard for the road, see if we can get it to the forefoot. Last rock of the second end, Mary Matatal needs quite a big roll, actually. Needs a good inside corner of the rock she's throwing at to beat out the Yellowstone on the other side of the house. It's a bit of a difficult shot because it is farther out there in the wings. And as you say, Linda, she needs to roll this stone at least three feet to get shot. It, that's usually yeah. a good yep. sign. Oh. Oh. Good shot. And Nicely a very done. nice roll right to the forefoot. <laughs> she was facing two and really needed that roll. Very nice shot by Mary Matatal. Out of her hand, Linda, Mary yelled, yeah, that she was a little bit tight, but we'd seen on the earlier shot that it seemed to stay pretty straight, so maybe that didn't hurt her. And the sweepers on and off it. You always like to see that as a skip. Ready to roll it if they need it. Ready to sweep and right there in the forefoot. It's a single point for Mary Matata. We move to the third end and now Sherry Mada has the hammer. The Elderton Curling Club just outside of London, Ontario. Beautiful fall days and Mary Matatal takes the single in two, and we move forward to the third end with Sherry Madaw holding the hammer. And we, we talk a lot about ice. In the break, the ice maker came out and just gave a little yeah. bit of pebble in front of the hacks. They're starting already to talk about flattening of ice, and I know he was a little worried about the humidity and other things that happen on a fall day. So Mine's they're good. keeping a really close eye on that. Which is great that he is. He is Where a competitive curler himself. And right. yesterday evening, in. coming out of the curling club at 9.30 at night, it was still 22 degrees here. Gotta bring very, in. very warm day for this time of year. Not typical, but oh, the fact that the ice maker is aware sure, that those kinds of conditions can lead to flattening out, which means that the pebble has really broken okay, down already, right in, and which okay. makes it really difficult on your knee, is great. Sherry Cordina has Wait played good. for quite a while actually with the top teams oh. in Ontario and we've Mine's seen good. this team together really Just at the Scott last year for the yep, first time yep. but this lead position is so important and she was so strong last year at the Scott. It's huge. The, the movement towards Parcel the three belt. rock zone really, That's really good. put a lot of focus on the lead and the old rules where it was wide open, often people felt that if you had a weak player you would put them at the lead position and then as you got better you would move up the ranks. That's definitely not the truth anymore. You need four strong players at their position and the ability of the lead to put those stones where you need them becomes absolutely huge to what happens for the rest of the end. Kelly works for OMR Consulting Limited as a project manager. Okay, line's good. You light? Little, same as the first one. Line's great. Weight's great. Oh, oh, I'm finished. For Sherry Madaw, the Great choice, shot. she saw clearly that Mary Matatal's team is in the house. She chose to go like to the corner Sheriff. guard. If we stay there, that's fine. As we Linda said earlier, she does play a little bit just more control. of an aggressive game. At this point, wanting to remove mm. these stones because they're both high in the house, and that stone that she's making the play at is going to prevent her from using that corner guard Whoa. thrown by Sherry at her first stone. Whoa. No. No. No, rolling over here. Whoa. Yeah, that's very true. Dead rolls. Say. Ice, we've talked about, maybe the surface not as lively. You're going to have to get Just onto little, that rock faster, pop. get less of the hit so that you roll further. Regular. Another tough thing for the skip, skip to be watching out there. It is. It's more consistent with what you would expect to see on an arena situation. Laney works for Mine's Industrial good. Packaging Mine's Limited. Clean, clean. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wanted to say hi to her spouse, Rob and also Matt and Suzanne. Whoa. Rob, of course, the other member of yep. that mixed team that we talked about earlier, along with okay, Heather and Mark Daisy. Oh, it's getting cloudy, I'm trying to even stand up. 
And they talk about standing up. When ice becomes flat, it almost Control. develops a greasy feel to it. Control. Stay here. That Control rock in front bad. of the forefoot, something that Sherry does not want. Had a nice chat with Andrea. She was also telling us they wanted to thank Kirsten Harmark, who is their fifth player and played here. And she said they Control. are working very Control. hard to prepare for the trials yep. and simulating things already yep. this early in the season, whoa. bringing in their fifth whoa. player in case whoa, of a whoa, need whoa, for that whoa, during whoa, the whoa. trials. So they've been working very hard on all aspects of Kay. preparation. This team is coached by Pat Reed. Pat has been around the game for a long time and sort of renowned as a, a very solid okay, coach out the for all kinds of reasons. The whole mental, psychological thing, as well as just the, a little less the technical Kelly. parts of the game. And going into an Olympic Fifteen. trial situation, Fourteen. having your fifth play is really important because there's no way of knowing during the course of a week what may happen to anybody on the team. And the first time that that fifth player enters the game should not be the Olympic trial. So I Mine's think that good. the way that it's worked Great out line. this weekend is only going to help this team in terms well, the of their experiences. Kelly. A little okay. less. Yep, got to go. Right up. Mine's great. Oh, my God. <laughs> Reverse situation of what we saw last day. And last day we saw Sherry Madaw putting pressure on Mary Manitow. Here we're seeing Mary put pressure on Sherry. Just try and punch it here. You like that? Well, you can see the wheels turning. Sherry is looking at ways to get something protected or something in front of opponent's stone so that it can't be easily removed. So she's playing the little tap back in this case. Again, it's more of, a, of an aggressive call than we would see from other players, but it is a comfort zone for this team. They play this a lot. If she Whoa. doesn't bump this stone Way back, gone. she won't be able to use that corner guard. Back line. No. Back line. No. Close. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Making the decision that it's not going to curl enough. Guess we got to hit it first. <laughs> to hit it on the nose. Just wanted to sort of split. Yeah. Sorry. Just Kay. sliding through. I need glasses. Like this, Heather. Just bump that back yeah, here. I like that. Turn Again, you like. advantage to Manitou. Like okay. Because those stones are in the top of the 12 foot, she doesn't feel that she's yeah, likely to steal point. in the 12 foot, and so now asking for the bump back to the 8 foot. All right. Heather is a marketing director for Cross Off Incorporated. And wanted to say hi to Mark Dacey, who also mentioned uh, earlier that that is Heather's husband and whoa, Skip whoa, of her mixed team. Cool. A very strong mixed team. Making it to oh, the final comes. last season. Yep. Line Down three. Line. Quick. Gotta line go good, yep. line. Hard. Looking to punch the stone back Hard to the eight foot. Wow, that ice wasn't right. What do you got? Weight's not bad, just a question of line, although with a couple feet more weight, it might have held up a little bit. I play this one in the roll. Okay. This one on top, that's not bad. Do you like that? The one on top? Right here. Did that get us first? Well, no, we'll be biting. Oh, sorry, that's what I meant, second. I'll try that. Get that, it's fine. I like normal though, Janet. We saw the options for Janet Brown. She selected to play the whoa, one yeah. just outside the house and try and roll whoa, other whoa, out whoa, in front whoa, of the whoa. other one. No. Big options roll. off either. Yeah. They felt whoa. that the odds were better yeah. off the top whoa. one. Wanting whoa. to roll this hard behind whoa. the corner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Set, 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 Sit set. Down. Spin back. Sit down. Sorry, Janet. Sticks around for second shot. How much can you see, Heather? Just verifying uh, what they can see uh, from the back. All. I think it'll curl enough there with, like, control. Yeah, it curls. I don't mind if we fly. 
Yeah. You can see that she's asking from the hack well. whether there's enough room to get by this one I into the inside. The first, we know that the yep. ice will okay. stay straight out there with you a lot of weight, so as long as she throws. Well, I think we might as well stick with that. Okay. As long as she throws controlled and doesn't throw it too hard, it should stay very, very straight out here. Objective is just Whoa. to get rid of the yellow Quick if they stick around yeah. it's a bonus. Nice shot. thought we knew what it did with that yeah. way. There wasn't a lot of room by the guard. They were going hard out of her hand. That rock did run straight, but watched by the guard, not a whole lot of room, and that's why she not only hits the stone, removes it, but gets that kick to the inside. Yeah. Same shot. Hurry. Looking for the hit and roll from right. Janet. Right but this right. time on the one Hurry that's guys. in the 12-foot. Right right and this one is right. curling. That's fine. And you're right, two wins in a row now. The team with the hammer hasn't really had the big chances. To lie three. Okay, gang, regular here. Oh, put my pants. Gonna give you regular here, eh? Yeah, I like that. And Mary works for Public oh, Works oh, and like Government that. Services Canada. She also wanted to say hi to the family and mom and dad at home. It's a long cash spiel circuit, long season, and heading into the playdowns later in the year, so they all really appreciate the support of the families at home who are taking Something care of things while they're away. It's true, Linda. It's a very long season, and Sherry had said before the game that if it wasn't for Wayne's parents, who regularly take care of their little one, it would be virtually impossible okay. for Sherry and Wayne both to play and be as successful as they are. That a tall lies three. That's a little gritty under there. That's why I gave it a little spin, yeah. Heather. I make sure we get by the four. I was giving Andrea here, but I think that'll do it. Sherry not concerned that there are Maybe three even a bit stones. more, Janet. Get by the one in the house. Her objective is to get okay, around line weight, guys. those stones there. She feels that she can easily Quarter put a bucket. rock there. But she'd prefer, of course, to put it here. Sherry works for the Midland YMCA. And this is really as a skip where you have to get your mindset around aggressive play. If you have problems, if your team has some misses, you have to be the one to get in the house. That's where in the, uh, the previous end when we talked about Sherry having draw weight, she's had a chance to throw one. They're working hard, mostly for line. This rock is curling. Second shot. Hi, right, guys. Three feet more weight. Is she drawn? Oh, yeah. Well, fine. Up to you. Yeah, come around here, Heather. Okay. Yeah, no, we don't want to hit it, I don't think. So it's just as good. Oh, I like it. What can we hurt ourselves? Mm -hmm. How can we hurt ourselves? Well, it's going to go. It's up to you. You're going to lose this one. Yeah. So there's not, I prefer the draw, but. Yeah, I can see. Those are your choices. Where do we have ice, Tamara? Here's what they've chosen. The law on the M, over one. Yeah. Okay, T line, eh? Yeah. 
options being to remove that yellow stone that we see right here at the top of the house. To get my girl she away. would lie four, potentially, three for sure. They've decided to try to put some pressure on Sherry by drawing to the open to side of the house that. right over here to lie two. That's quite a bit. I think it's Heather center line. And put the pressure on Sherry Madod to draw for her side, point. So. Even back how even back behind there. So there would be pressure if she hit it and uh, sat three. So putting it in the house, reason? Well, I think that for, for them, they have tons of respect for Sherry Madon. and they're thinking if we if we hit this, we're lying, you know, one rock that's fully 12, everything else is biting. If we put this stone in the house in the eight foot, the draw becomes Key much line, more guys. Tons of room. Up to you. Only way. You only Goal need as always 12. to make only the way. shot yep. as difficult yep. as you can for room. your opponent. Yep, close for line, yep. Yep, hard for line now. Oh, you're going to go for line. Hard for weight. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. I think the Yellowstone is still second I shot. Good. I would agree. I think still there. I think eight. it's going to move over. Yeah. Oh, it's back eight. Okay. Do you like here then? Yeah. Then go here. Still looking at the same options for Sherry. She faces one blue stone. You can see it out here. There's no way We're to second make a play. Right now, Janet. At this stone. Pardon? We're second right now. Yes. Okay. Back eight. Back eight. Do the split on ours. Okay. She's playing the rub on the yellow and trying to roll it in. Now that looks like a fairly long way to move it. Well, we got to make sure we get one for sure. I think it's yeah. very yeah. tough. Yeah. What she's yeah, counting on. Yeah, we have to get on. the shooter, which Sherry will take. Or Is yeah. it by hitting it about a half? She hits it about a half right here. This rock will sort of spin to lie here, and she's counting on her other rock rolling to lie too. It is a difficult shot. She wants to make sure that she scores one. This is her last rock. She said, make sure you get the shooter in. Take the roll. Hurry! Hurry! just tap it. just tap it. It's curling pretty hard. Wait. It's curling. That's really my it certainly did. She had great weight for the shot. We got the single, looking for two, but they're pretty happy with the way that one curled to get the one. And a bit of a questioning look on Sherry Madaw's face after that one. Not sure if she got it going out of her hand, but you'll see on that center line how quickly the rock starts to move off. And we talked Linda about needing to hit about half. Just no chance for the center line side, but it is a sure point for Sherry Mida. We're all tied. Well, we were just talking about that last end. A very tough shot tried by Sherry Mida, but she does get the single, and we are tied. Moving into the fourth end. What we've seen in this game is the team that does not have half last rock seems to have been sort of all over the team that does have last rock. And so Mary forced to take one and Sherry forced to take one this last end. Now what we did see on that last rock and actually a few rocks in that end is a lot of curl. Is this something new or a little okay. surprise maybe to see this? It is new and it is a surprise. We're seeing more and more and more movement and some of this has to do with the fact that there is some frost and the ice Harry. is getting a little bit soft, so like it's that. starting to grab and turn, grab and turn, which means a couple of things that we really saw last end, that the, the rolls <laughs> are not <laughs> happening very much. You need to hit less and less of a stone to get a good roll. The, the rocks are not going to go I as think, uh, far, and, and they'll probably die pretty quick. It's going to be really important for the teams to keep an eye on the ice with not only their stopwatches, but also to have good communications amongst each other to let them each other know what it's doing. 69, which should be a lot. Now Kelly Anderson is throwing this come around. They decided to play from the outside. Is there a reason for that? Outside in seems to be Mary's preference. They could easily have come from the inside. We know that it's gonna start to curl a lot as we're starting to see right here. That's fine. That's good. Good weight, actually. I would say if I was scouting Mary that one of the things that I would pick up right away is the absolute preference she has for both hits and draws, outside in, outside in.
So without last well rock, done. Sherry Madaw lies one in the house now. And looking for her lead, Sherry Cordini, okay. to come down either to the rock itself okay. or just a tight guard is good as well, just to sort of force some of the offense. Now this is where you have to choose when you're playing this shot. Do you play it short or do yep, you tap yep, that yep, one yep, up yep, in the house? Maybe Good doing this turn. because Mary also likes to play the hit and you don't want to gather them too close. Sure, and one of the things that we saw Sherry absolutely call was the guard. I think that she also feels that if the ice is getting patchy, maybe way? guarding a stone in the center in the 12 foot butt in the eighth foot's not a bad call. We could no room to do it the same. Mary ignoring that stone, wanting to use the corner that they have up. She's not worried about the rock that's biting the eight foot. The front end, uh, actually the sweepers in this case, getting splits on the time to judge the sweeping. And that's probably gonna be important if this tends to get a little touchy out there. It's huge. It's just another way of sort of giving you an extra edge. This rock curling as well. They're going to play through the hole with this shot. This is a tough one, but a nice opportunity as well. Sherry's saying it's definitely there. It is a small hole, and those two guards that they have to snake between are both blue. The Dawes team is throwing yellow, but she really no, feels, as you say, Linda, that to get in here is a great opportunity for a lot of pressure. On the team from Nova Scotia, this rock starting to move. When it gets closer to that line, it's almost the more ice you take, the more it's starting to curl. It is a little heavier. With there. last rock, this is not what you want. Uh. Wanting to remove some of the stones in front of the house, particularly the one that's guarding the shot stone. And so Mary asking for the removal of that stone. Regular. There's Lady be, Peters. I'm sorry, Linda. If there's going to be stones up yeah. front, she would just assume that they be blue then yellow. And Laney, if she can drive this back and pick the other yellow one out on the way by, which she does very successfully. Very nice shot to run that front one back, set up the blues, and hopefully not let uh, things get out of hand again. Nice shot by Laney. Because it's funny, it has been a bit of a scramble for the team with the hammer, and this really does a lot to open things up for her team. It does, but for Sherry Madaw, who does not have last rock, that's what she would like, which is rocks out front of the house. The way those two blue ones are set up now in front would be difficult to drive straight back. And so for Andrea, a chance to really put some pressure. On Mary's team, if she's able to get this right around. Top four, top eight would be great. You can see it finishing very, very hard. Whoa, girls, whoa, Oh, that's girl. a very nice shot. Gonna get it behind cover, top of the forefoot. That's a peach that by Andrea. Can you split them though with like hack weight? Now this spot seemed to be fairly consistent. It curled, but it curled consistently down the ice. They swept it well. What kind of right weight? Right to the top of the forefoot. We talked away the, about those blue ones. They're not set up to drive it back. What if we tried it with like board came across the face? Would we save anything? No? Mary's looking at a way to maybe drive this here and maybe, maybe push one of them around and just poke the other one out. What they're saying is that they really, really want to make board? sure at the end cool. of the day these are gone. Okay. Well, they know they can remove rocks. The question is, can they save rocks? And that's what Mary is sort of lining up here. 
Although they don't want the center cover, they would like some protection possibly for later Great in the game. Great He's got a curl. Right off now, it's right off. Got anything? Okay, it's fine. Move to one of them out of the way. Still leaves the center. So this is what happened earlier today at a uh, different curling club, as we mentioned. It was the Swiss team, Lucia Ebnalter over Anne Merklinger, 9-1. Marie-France LaRouche, 8-4 over Cheryl McPherson. Sherry Middaw got here by being the sweet, beating the Swedish team, Annette Norberg, 8-4. And Mary Malatal, what a decisive win, 10-3 over Dennis Schell. So that was earlier today at the Highland Country Club. They moved over here to play the first semifinal and struggling a little bit with ice, I think. It's almost as though the, the ice that they played on the first end and a half has changed so significantly, Linda. It's almost like they're in the fifth curling club in the Sponsville. So they are picking it up, but it's uh, something that makes it a little bit more challenging all, than, all the while. So we're currently just early in the first semifinal. Score tied at one. And later today, it will be the Ebnotter team from Switzerland against the team from Quebec, Marie-France LaRouche. That'll be at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific. We're all bringing you the French translations, and Linda will be bringing <laughs> you the Swiss. Don't you think the Vic is just at home? How does oh, she get to do that team? <laughs> just not fair. Ah, uh, Victor. Sherry Madaw's team on their last stone, trying to get around that center guard once again to lie two. Coming a little bit short, they are able to see about three quarters of their blue guard, and so asking for about back eight weight. They just can see enough of it to get to the nose with easy weight to Hard. tap it straight back. Hard. Deciding it wasn't going to go there, so wanting to open it up a bit. Oh, it's going to slide to the back. Is it going to even hang in? No. Not enough. Wow, a bit of a miscue and a missed opportunity there for the Matatal team. Now a big chance for Madal's team to really cover things up. Anywhere in there. She's in really good shape. If she can get this rock half around the blue one, whether that's in front of the house or behind the, the guard, whether it's in the house or not, is, is not huge. Although if they're able to do that, the pressure continues to build. No, we're really losing line, too. Janet Brown with no, the out no, turn, no, no, and no, this one no. is going. This rock is almost walking whoa, whoa, sideways. Whoa, whoa. OK. What's that? Huh. I threw that much more than out there. What? We can know that. Bit of a discussion about weight, wanting to make sure. Watch this rock on the line. You can see we're right here. It starts to almost go laterally. And it just keeps going. Now it's really hard to say why it's curling so much and we're just sort of keeping you up to date on the fact that it looks like maybe the pebble like is a bit affected and that means that curls it didn't look necessarily as though it caught some debris. Okay guys, just, just a very touchy spots. Little off nose. And still the battle to open up the front. Even though Sherry Madaw only lies one in the house, there is a continuing pile of granite out front, and that's the last thing that Mary Matatal wants with that last rock advantage. Whoa, 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 whoa. finish. Ugh. Oh, another break, bad break for the Matatal team just by the one in the house. And leaving the front wow. stone up, one of those things that you just hope will never happen. They drive this, if they hit it a little bit thicker, she's gonna be, she just missed it. A little thicker, and that rock is going out. Setting it up. Yeah. Okay, well, oh, and block? the body English wouldn't help on that one. Just a fraction okay, off. Block of five. We're going to have to take up to here, I think. Right? Oh. I gave you here, Janet. No, and you just, I'm oh. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, well, it doesn't look like it's there, but the way yeah. it bends, you think that's enough? 
I don't think so. <laughs> Sherry and Janet having a look at the monitor, giving them a good overhead view of those rocks so they could see what was I possible for Mary. Okay. Okay. I think even more, Janet, because we can guard on Brute. That's the only I stone that they're there. worried they about. Hit what they can see. She's saying yeah. if they hit what they can okay. see, can they drive it back? You bet they can. Okay, just block it off. Wanting to guard the guard. It's guarding their stone. But still should be okay to wait. have to keep reminding ourselves it is just the single yellow stone in the house all those guards out in front all these attempts to get at it sherry's team sitting Mine's one good. at the front of the forefront no Mine's easy good. guys Mine's good. oh then off off no close no 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 sit sit now, did that set something else up? Is that center line blue one in a better spot? There's room. It may be in a better spot. There's a couple of options. Yes. One of them is she can drive this through. Sorry, Mary, didn't mean to hurt you with that. To there. The other option is by, well, that's exactly what they're looking at. The other Mine was option would have been think. the bang, bang, the yellow onto the blue. And those guards have not got there yeah. this end if you're just tuning in because people have been short with draw weight. It's been taps that haven't worked and raises that just haven't worked out the way that mostly uh, Mary's team wanted them to. You can see the way that Heather's standing, that driving that blue one right on the nose pushes it straight back onto the Yellowstone on the top of the forefoot, put there by Andrea Laws, the second for Sherry Madaw. throwing the out turn right. and it just won't come up. Different throw on the out turn. That's all. Right there, there's a chance if you take a look right at this. Right. Not a lot of options for Mary Matatal and so Sherry says, here's my time. We know it's going to curl really hard. We lie two here. Boy, we're in good shape. Come around. Janet says it's a little heavier here. Right. Okay. Well, that's something you guys can anticipate. Yeah. Even a bit more, Janet, just to make sure. Most of the play has been on the other side of the sheet where they've seen it really curl hard. A little bit more. Okay. Confirming the weight with her team, wanting to make sure that she's got enough ice. If this really hangs out, they can just leave it up high. Not a lot, it appears, for the blue rocks to be oh moved up into good. the house. So this would block Hurry. the Line's spot, great. the Line's path good. into the forefront. Line's great. Lots of room. Lots of what are we looking for room. between the hot ones? We We're looking yeah. for about Line's 14. Great. Come on. Hurry. Come on. Yeah. Can. If it's a, a higher mic. number, that means the rock is Get traveling too slowly and it will be light. And they said it might be a little heavier out there. Yeah, it looks well, like it is. Fresh spot of ice. Got a little out. bit up to the frost as well. Shoot. Yeah, I just did that and got a little out. And we yeah. know the ice here, I think. Really hard I don't think so. I'm giving you less. Same way. So I almost got to hit it where my broom is, right? right? here. You can see the frost no, building up over to here, on right? both sides. Sherry okay. said she got a little bit out, which means that she threw it back a little bit, got out to the frost, so it's going to start to grind very quickly. And we also saw the times that she had Same under the stone. Well, tough shot for Mary. Can't see the stone that Heather's right beside. Going to drive it back like this, hoping to drive it through there and pick that stone out. Wow, you hate to be facing a double angle raise with your last rock, but that's what Mary has to make if she wants to get rid of the rock in the rings belonging to Madaw. You can see the angles where Heather is. She needs to hit this stone about half to drive it back to, to redirect the second guard into the forefoot. Again playing the out turn with Whoa. hit weight. Whoa. Close. Has Close. 
has to curl past whoa. the face. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, finish, 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 finish. Got the one, and okay. no, not the second. And that draw early in the end by Andrea Laws is still sitting there, and that will be a point stolen for the Madaw team. And they take the lead. It's 2 1, Cherry Madaw leading Mary Matatal. And yes, that was a very nice draw in the last in for the steal. I'm sure that's what they're talking about. I'm sure. Yes, a future curler, a couple of curlers, I think, as we see uh, Sherry Madaw has taken the lead with that nice steal in the last end. Talking about it during the break, really deciding that the pivotal two shots were probably Heather Smith Dacey's shots, yep. where those are the really <laughs> tough calls. You have to make a decision early if it's if it's going to happen for you or if not. And what happened is that in neither case did she hit the rock perfectly to drive it back. And in both cases left her shooter up Go. there, Kelligan. which continued to make it tough for Mary to get in. Guard thrown by the Madaw team. A little longer, I'm sure, than they would want it to be, particularly with the ice starting to curl more and more and more. It makes it more important that those guards be tight to Line the house. 38. Line 38. Line's real good. Tons of room. Of course, we've been talking about the Tons ice surface either flattening the pebble because of the Only warm way. surface or some frost. What happens is the curling stone Coming no longer can ride Only along way. the little Only bumps way. on the ice. That's the pebble. No, and the rock has more than surface friction. It grabs on the ice. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's right, why it does more unpredictable Ooh. things, nice slows way. more quickly, curls more quickly, and that Jeez. makes it tough for all players I like here, on the no team. Oh. Saw that great draw. Rock. Once again, that Sherry Madaw guard thrown by Sherry Cortina. Cordina, this See, year, it's I contagious. know it is contagious. I, yeah, last year I really do apologize to Sherry because I had that in Where my head we? and it just, once it's there, it does not come Doesn't out. go away. Yeah. But for Sherry, Hurry. really wanting to be tight to the house. Manitou's team Hurry. wasting no time Hurry. getting around that stone. Watch this rock crawl off that line. Okay, that's good, that's fine. Opens it up a bit, but leaves a couple of front stones, and Mary will try to utilize one of them. Cut right out to that stick. It's going to move here. Great draw on her first one. A chance for two back-to-back -back good stones for Kelly. And for her squad to lie too. Early in this end. So lots of line. Lots of line. Yeah. Yep. And really the first yep, time we've seen the team with last right. rock take a little control, right. even though it is early Wait in the way. end. You're by, you're by. Yep, yep, gotta go for weight. Good communications oh, to let their let her know. Come on. They're by. Whoa. Watch Whoa. this rock Easy. finish. Yep. Whoa. T line, T line, T line, T line, T line. Nice setup. Well, it was in the fourth end that there was a very important draw. All those stones out in front. So oh, who's going to no, get in no, first? No. It's the Madal team, and it was Andrea Laws with that beautiful come around. And by the last oh. stone, Mary Matatal oh, oh, only oh. had a double raise, and oh, it's at an finish, angle finish, at that finish, to try and get at that shot stone. Okay. Just can't do it. So that Hurry, one come ah. around draw was big in the Hurry, fourth end. Right up, right up. was indeed no roll, Sherry saying they were actually okay. looking to roll the other way. Lots of movement to those rocks. Okay. I talked before the game started like? about how important those seconds rocks can be, and it looks like... We could like hit it and sit there, too. Just listen what to that. Like? What do you feel better at? I like that better. Looks Firm. like yeah, last like end it could have been Andrea's come around. This could be a really big shot for the Manitol team to try and stay in a position where they can score two. Let's go, Lainey. Interesting call by Mary, Linda. The first instinct that she had was to draw around the other guard, which was how whoa, she played whoa, whoa, guys. first whoa, whoa, whoa. stone, but then the decision was no. to make a play on the second shot Back stone, just saw. belonging to Mada to remove Jeez. it from play, yeah. to lie to that way. Okay, Both are there. options. Right yep, yep. Now, what's the benefit Good. of this? The fact that they're more spread out? 
for Mary. She, her comfort zone is to stay away from that center guard, although it's still going to be there. Control. She's thinking to spread the stones out. She lies two. She knows that because her uh, one blue stone is completely Katie. covered, that the play, or the Mr. she'll force Sherry Mada to play <laughs> out in the wings. And that's what Sherry is playing. Control. Hoping to roll behind that center stone, Three. center guard. Once again, you'll see the differences in the way that the skips call. Sherry Madal likes to play the intern. She likes to play from the inside of the sheet out and the intern. Mary Manitol always seems to like outside in, outside in. The risk, of course, with the sheet like this, what we've seen is that the further you get out, the more the frost factor yep. comes into yep. play. Dramatic difference in the amount of ice given for the two turns. This one, the broom was right on the stone. Yep. No, no, okay. Yep. Come on, Mary. Okay. <laughs> and it will hang around on the other side of the rings, the back of the eight <laughs> foot. Here. Yeah? But it's actually tight to the blue, not to the yellow. Pardon me? I have the full blue, but if it really cuts hard, I'm going to get the blue, not the yellow. No. Like the top of the house. Question is, okay. do you hit the back one or draw I think to this it? Janet. Okay. Sherry likes the draw. You could see that was from her first call, and, and letting her know Either way, they have the same goal, which is to sit eight. right there. Janet's inclination in yelling down that she could see all of it was to let her know that if she wanted to hit, she could do that. I think for Sherry, she sees that that stone that is at the top of the eight foot is buried completely oh. behind the corner guard, and so yeah. she might as well put it in front of the stone because she's not going to get the yeah. other one out. Mine's great, but is the weight. Hard, hard. Dying right pretty up, quick. Right up, right up. That's good. Good shot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mary That's letting great. her squad know that they currently lie two. Yeah, two blues on the one hey side guys, of the uh, house, so she walks you, around and looks here, at the huh? come around on the other side. That last rock, she preferred that center guard not be there, but the fact that it is, she feels she might as well make it to her advantage. Heather is being asked to get around that stone. Get lots of room. No line at all. No, okay, leave it go then. Leave it go, we need. Bring it back here. Back to here. Mine's getting better. Easy, easy girl. Trying to avoid the hit and roll, so taking it to the back of the rings. Okay, Heather, that works. That works. Didn't curl very much in that spot. That's not bad. What does that give us? Uh, that gives us a shot. Oh, okay. All right. Or even up here is not bad. Okay. Here's good doesn't mind if she comes back here. What she let Janet know is that because of where those rocks are positioned, if she does come down to the back one, they will be shot. Not necessarily what she would like. It's an option. Coming Line's around good. that where guard. Eight foot is good. Yep, yep for line. Quick. Yes, for line. Quick. Hurry for line. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now that rock is curling as well. I don't know if it's Janet's release. The stone she's throwing, but they are moving. That stone moved Kay. much, much more than the Matatals teams. Okay. Sorry, I should have been on the sweep. Sorry, I turned that in. Oh, did you? Well, let's have a look because she's saying maybe I turned it in. She said she did, and that's the best indicator. 
The release isn't too bad, but it's difficult for us to know where the broom is. She certainly helps it over. It's not a clean, wide open handshake. And as a result, her weight's good, but she ticks off the front. And Mary Matatal continues to lie three. Yeah, I think I did. Now, uh, a lot of people wonder about the rules for that. As long as you stop prior to the stone reaching the first tee line and you do not let go of the stone when you first have the incident happen, when you have a balance problem or whatever, you can stop, go back to the hack and re-throw. Yep, get, I think line's bad. Okay. Line's great. Yeah, line's okay. Thank got you, got room. You can Whoa. see this rock Whoa. runs much more straighter Whoa, than the last one from Janet. Janet better. helped it on its way, which easy. means that no, it will no. run a completely no, different no, no. path. Whoa. Easy, 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 easy. No, it's a great line. It's a great line. Sit. They want the stone Sit to be in front of the tee line, and indeed it is. Right. Don't start mind. counting them. That's four blues that are shot stone in the house. I think that's good. Yep. Nope. Later today, it's Marie-France LaRouche against Lucia Ebnotter. That will be our second semi-final. 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific. My times are the same. Yeah, yeah. Right there. But no bump on this. We've got to just come right to it. No bump, meaning she doesn't want to create any separation that would allow Mary Matatal to pick it out. A little bit more, Janet. She knows she's not going to be shot. She's not really worried about that. You can see there's not a lot of room for error here wants to corner freeze. Now, ever since the two blues started collecting, Sherry Madaw has elected to try the freeze to get out of this end. So far, it hasn't worked. This is a tough shot. It's a very tough shot. They say the freeze is the most difficult shot in curling, and particularly Just when away, you not three. only have to get around Just a center away. guard, no bump, eh? but you're looking whoa, at a corner whoa, freeze. No bump, no bump. Whoa, this is about yeah. having dead weight whoa, and perfect whoa. line. Whoa, whoa, no, no. Shot. Not bad line, a little more than she wanted to throw, but still a very good shot. That's good. Major bump. Being off on that one. Well, I just think she can get around there to tap that up, can't she? No. No, you're right, she can't. What if you can come? Can you come around to here? I could, but then I might set myself up for the double. Mm-hmm. My left foot there, but I might be able to play on it. Yeah, I like that. Let's play that. I think we need a lot of ice. It's moving like crazy this way. Is yeah. it uh, yeah. moving the same? Yeah. Okay. All right. Just, call, just right there. Okay. Whoops. Nice shot. You guys like this? Uh, That's yeah. where Mary wants to be. And then I can maybe do something with it. I need to stay in the open, though. If what I she's saying is if she corners coming. onto the front like we just showed you, potentially on her next focus. one, she'll be able to so punch that to one on the nose, shooting that yellow one out for five or six. I think I need a little more ice, Heather. A little wow, more. Wow, that's a lot of ice that uh, they're looking at. Yeah. Edge of the eight foot now, the broom being held by Heather smith Stacy. <laughs> Sweepers have called oh, out that it doesn't it have yep. the weight. Little bump over there, little bump. All right, that works. That ice feels like it's grabbing the rock all the time. What kind of split did you get? It should have been good. What do you mean, lower or higher? Talking about times. I think we have to put another one in here. And she can't do anything off the five because that just jams on the two, right? She's got nothing else to say. No. I think we'll just come down to it. Okay. Like that? Yeah. I think it'll be like 13.
talking about 13 at the top of the show. It was about 14 between the two hog lines. 13 suggesting that it's starting to slow down a little bit in terms of weight. The other thing is that with the ice okay. curling so Safe much, if the rock has weight. to travel a much greater distance. Well, now Mary's going to have to line things up. Yeah. Sherry is saying, I have to get another one in there. The concern is right now, if she doesn't put another stone in there, and Mary ever gets that stone out that's in the eight or foot. Do you think I can about throw the same weight? She would take five. Okay, because we're farther out. Yeah. No oh, no less. Okay. okay. Hoping to get this stone Mine's in. Good. Does not want to set up any double opportunities for Mary Matatal, but concerned about that lonely oh. yellow one middle of four blue puppies looking for yeah, about 14 her team told yeah. her 13 Everybody would probably do it Quick, bring this would move, suggest move, that it's move, not going to make move, it to move, the house move. they're trying to block off a raise now take it as far yeah. as they can Mary and her team talked about this rock right here. Can we get rid of it? They decided they couldn't, and so they've opted to draw right here and take their two what points. Did, yep. so what did you get for Heather? <laughs> now, if you're Sherry Madal, you have to be a little bit happy in the way this has concluded because it looked like big trouble for a while there. It did indeed, Linda. You never want to give up a pile, and particularly in a game that's very, very close. The way things have... Uh, you talked about Mary looking at angles, and for sure, while Sherry was sitting on the hack and throwing, that's something they would have been doing, looking at each and every rock. The yellow stones are very flat. There's no in-offs. And so sometimes you just have to say, okay, let's take our two. Got a ton of room. A ton of room. Now the question is, can Mary room. find the range? They've been Mine's struggling with draw weight. She's had to move further Mine's out because good. of the curl. Piece of the four foot. Up to you. Well, line's all there. Piece of the four. It looks good yep. for line. Careful. Getting worse. What a great job. Very shot. nice. Very nicely done indeed. <laughs> so it's not five, it's not four, but it's a pretty good two. Know. Nice draw by Mary Matato. Still flat. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Having to go a little wide, the sweepers had to be on it, but this is a big second point. You didn't want to let everything evaporate when it looks so Mine's good early. There. And it will be the second yep. point Careful. right into the forefoot for the Matatal team, and they shot. will take the lead in this game. Nice outturn draw by Mary Matatal. Great judgment by the sweepers. So we head into the fifth end break. Matatal ahead 3-2. I don't think the side that I came with was all that easy. Your women's Tour of Curling is brought to you by JVC, excite your senses. Lubriderm, feel good from the outside in. Rower Direct, quality, fresh cut. To order, call 1-88-ROSE-888. Unisys, you're on target with Unisys eSolutions. There was a big score of two in the last end to and Mary Matatal's team into the 3-2 lead. Going into the fifth end break. Every Bondsville committee needs and appreciates the support of local sponsors and the Southwestern Ontario Cash Spiel wishes to thank these local supporters. The Elderton Curling Club is just about 30 minute drive from London, Ontario for this Southwestern Ontario Women's Cash Spiel. Now we've talked a lot about ice. Let's reread the ice. It's brought to you by Whirlpool and here's Kathy. I think it's worth talking about because it's changed so much. We talked about two feet earlier in the game. Now we're seeing rocks move four, almost five feet around center guard. Same with the corners. If you get this rock going, you don't have a prayer, but four and a half to five feet if you're throwing it clean. The only thing that's staying pretty much consistent is outside in at three, three and a half feet. And the frost has absolutely become the factor that we thought it would be. Now, if we think to the first five ends and talk about some of the critical moments, ice has definitely been a factor, but a couple of really big draws, Andrea Laws, 
set up the steal for Sherry Madoff, but boy did Sherry yep, Madoff yep, save nice. things last stand. She made a huge shot, Linda. When she went to throw, she was facing four stones, made a draw perfectly around a center guard. She was worried that she had tapped it back, but because the stone had curled so much, there was no way for Mary to get at it. And kudos yep, to Mary nice. indeed, because Mary didn't have a lot of play. She had to hit the forefoot. She had to make sure that she threw yeah, it clean and it got short. the curl and she did no, for that first two points scored Mary this died. game. Gonna go. Mary looking to throw uh, the center it. guard, curled a little bit, but oh, still yeah, up it. front. Short. Sherry Just wanting tight, to be tight. right on that line, tight. looking Just to tight. bump it up on the next That's shot. Good. Yep. I thought it was gonna glide more with this. Let's look at the numbers after five. This is brought to you by Unisys. You're on target with Unisys eSolutions. Well, I think you can look at those two 80 percentiles, and that's the big difference. The draw percentage is at 88% versus 65, and 84 overall. That should suggest that you might think the Dawes team should be up, but the importance is when you make them. And the big end that we go back to was the fourth end, where there was a stolen point, and that was all the shots that didn't come about for the Matatal okay, team. And those were very line. difficult right. shots lots to give them a little bit of credit as well. Okay, we got a key line back eight. Yeah, okay, when you look at the numbers, you're yep, right. Yep. That end, the fourth end, would have oh. brought the Matatal numbers oh. down, know, but uh, you would think that last end has them getting maybe a little momentum back. That's got to dig. Well, actually, it's digging. Okay. Nice wow, shot. did that slow down when it hit the house? It sure did. Around the outside. Here. Can't see a whole lot of it. So Sherry asking Sherry. First hand again. To just draw down to it. Gotta go. Yep, then. The gotta go, letting them know that she was definitely not heavy out of her hand. Lots around. Lots around. Here we go. Just for weight. Just for weight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Yeah. Took a little bit of extra ice. Just finishes hard at the yeah, end as all it's curling from outside nice in shot, and it starts to die. Nicely swept and judged. And there is the team coach. That's Pat Reed. Now, she's been working with Sherry Madal a little bit, but very seriously over the course of the summer heading into this season. And she brings with her experience as a coach, a player at the national level, an official, and also somebody from the CCA Board of Directors working on the Olympics. So she has a ton of experience to bring to this team. She's a very sought after coach. People may remember from last year's Scott Tournament of Hearts, seeing her with Shelly Bradley's team. Really someone that curlers Time's across okay. this country feel that Time's they can benefit from her experience it. and her knowledge. Sherry's very fortunate to have her with the team. No, no, no. No, we're really bad. Really bad, referring to the line, wanting to get this rock to curl more. Just ticks the Mada shot okay. over to, in fact, make it shot. Yeah, those are ones you hate. I like this. Shot. Don't really want to sit there. Some good there. opportunities now for the Madaw team. Changes the complexion of the end for Sherry Madaw instead of worrying about how to move her stone to shot. Like She's normal. already there. Normal. And now we'll she has way, the though. blue one that just landed there as one actually you can use. You can use it like to this? maneuver your next stone into position. And they're also finding that as this ice gets a little bit more swingy and more tricky, that the draw shots are very difficult, which is one of the reasons Whoa. that she's asking Andrea Whoa. to get this Yellowstone in Whoa. by the hit and roll. Yep! Yep! Hurry! Okay. Well, that was sure a plan B she was going <laughs> after. <laughs> Hoping to clip it on the way by. I'm thinking, put it right back again. Okay. We could run that back. Just kind of like uh, back weight, just to jostle Actually them around like a little bit. Peel. Okay. Is that you? What kind of weight do you think, a hack? What are you thinking, you, like here? You like hack? Oh, okay. Tap them back to here. Maybe yeah, that's fine. Around. I don't think it's going to move much. 
They looked at a variety of options. Mary's first call was the corner freeze, wanting to move them around. The team from the other end, the other three players were talking about the straight peel or the run back. The decision is to throw about hack weight at it. Whoa. Just wanting to make sure that there's More some separation. Hack. The way those two stones are in the forefoot, there's no curl, daylight baby. between them. Curl, baby. Come Want to drive it straight on the wait, nose. Wait, wait. We went through this in the fourth end. Throwing hard. Good. Okay. Fine. Not a bad shot. Yeah, the blue objective this end is to try and really close things down in the forefoot and not let Sherry Madaw have her good chance for the second point. They might get at that yellow one later. They're really not worried. That's not a bad Don't spot know how for easy that, that is. stone. Not at all. I don't think you can. Pardon me? I don't think you can. It's gonna. It's, it's not swinging as hard. Wants to come through here. I don't see what else. Do you like that? Right here? It's here. Yeah. Sure is quite confident they can get through the center. Uh, as Linda said, she's already looking at the way that the blue stones are building up on the outside of the forefoot and wanting to ensure that she creates an opportunity to score two this end, and she's only at her second stone. So this is the time to maneuver the rocks around a little bit. Where are we? Andrea well, Laws. Going for the tap. Yeah! Option B, the rock's running Come really forward. straight, and so Sherry's yeah. letting her team know. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's good. That's fine. Yeah, it's a lot straighter, Janet, now with the pebble. I'm sorry. Not a bad plan right? B for Andrea. She I think you I think I through think the stone like well again the I struggle with the ice they keep commenting on it and it's this difficult we for the ice maker backs, they work right? hard but when there's humidity this in where the we were air playing it's those tough. straight backs there's I think. not a lot but of we things you can do so this wanting to remove that stone just yeah regular not peel just raised by Andrea Laws and they were referring back in their conversation to that fourth end where we saw a lot of play in this area yeah. deciding yeah. on the ice hard got to go Still got it! Harder, Harder, guys! Harder, you got it! You still have it, you still have it! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, great sweeping! Very nice That's sweeping shot. to get that one by. The other thing that does is plugs up the hole in the front. Nicely Good brushed. Sweeping, you guys. Especially when the ice is frosty, that can be a tough job, uh, pushing that brush onto the ice. Only other shot is right here. Trying to hold the rock. But there's not much room for air. Is it going to get in there? Pardon me? Is it going to come in there? Well, I mean, there is still some movement. OK. I think I like that one better than this way. OK. Like that way. Just got to be here then, Janet. No, I, I don't like that one. I like oh, that you one. don't? OK, sorry. They don't necessarily need this to Mine's be second good. shot, but they're hoping to get this yellow rock into a position, okay, top eight foot, yeah. top four foot, where it could be whoa. moved. Yes! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, just for weight. No, 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 yeah! As Linda says, it's not Mine's only nice about quick. making a shot 100% and being two at the end of this, but somewhere where they can okay, promote it later, bad. which is what she's done. Good. Oh, sorry, Mary. Same shot. Heather. She skated slide in the front. I think the run back is too early. It's looking awful pretty. Can we play the same shot? Send the blue one into their yellow one? Is it spinning back or is it the angle not there? No, I don't think so. I'm never telling that. I'm thinking straight back on ours. Yeah. Right into the pocket right cheek. I mean, what do we achieve by that? Just getting rid of air. Yeah, no, I thought we might be able to spin it back into the forefoot. But 
it's almost missing it that we have to do that. Yeah. Kind of wait. Right on the nose. Okay. That's my last. That's your last one. Just to use it. This the right time to do that. Yeah, I like it. Because she can't play it, can she? She can play on this and bump it in. That's. Yeah. The other shot is we can just but play the straight we bump. This. We open this up. We sneak this out too. I think we gotta play it. Okay. Now. If not, we make sure we peel. Which way do we want to peel? This way. Yeah. Might actually get a. It's pretty. There. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Really. I mean. If we're just off nose and we clip the five on the way by, yeah. it's going into the yellow, right? Mary's concern was, do we do this now or do we do this later? Like that? But they've been looking at the same shot, which is driving that guard straight like back that? onto I the top to no. of the forefoot. That yellow one goes and blue lies three, and there will so be nose. two guards I mean, up front. If we get it off nose, we're, gonna, we're sending it into the blue, which may clip the yellow. There are a couple of options. As long as they hit okay. it broom side or nose, it looks like they're going to move it onto one of the two blues. They want it to That's be fine. moved onto the blue near the yellow in the forefoot, but there are options. It's the nose. With that weight, it looked like it was going to come, and Nan did seem to straighten Thanks. a bit, caught them a bit, because they wanted it to come a little bit more to the nose of that first stone, but nice shot by Heather. And anticipation is part of it. They thought it would continue to move. It straightened out a bit. They squeak by the top one, but make enough contact with the one in the house. They don't lie three, as they'd hoped, but they do lie two, and they are guarded. And so Sherry goes back to Janet Brownstone that we talked about before. It wasn't important that she made it to the forefoot, but set something up. And so here's her chance to promote this on an angle into the forefoot. Make sure. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, then. Line's great. Yeah. Watch, look. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we're fine. Very nice, nice shot, race. Janet. And you know, you, you watch that come down, they were a little worried that they'd swept it too much, but when it hits the painted surface with the frost out there, that rock wow, stops quickly. So it did not go far at all. <laughs> well, I know, but I, we should have maybe stayed on it and got the it The team was more. worried early on that maybe they'd Wind overswept up. it. Sherry was just letting them know there's a lot of weight on this shot, but when it we're hits, it almost goes there. flat. We weren't looking too good with all our angles. It was just a matter of time. Uh, you're not going to play peel. You played peel there. Right? I, mine was more like control. Remember the one I just played that, that they had to sweep like crazy to get it by? Yeah. That was more control. So if you throw regular, yeah. yours will hold a little longer yeah. than mine, too. Okay. That's easy. So. Just off Straight notes. Straight up to five, hey? Yep. Let's go, Mare. Oh, yeah. It's all day. It is, in fact, all day. What she says is I that there's the five, the five right about where I've got my dot. So she hits this here. Mm -hmm. It drives it back there. Four, three. Oh, no. If we sit there, they can't bump in. Okay. Has to yeah. go through the uprights, no. but there's lots of room. Oh, they could. Yeah. I like this, guys. I think, yeah, I regular. Give you regular here, Heather. Yeah, I like regular. Okay. <coughs> Slight change in the weight, no change in the amount of ice. Whoa! 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 Whoa, guys! Whoa, whoa! A little whoa. bit of a flip back on Mary's release. Whoa. This rock is going to run really, really straight. That's why it just ran as it did, got it across the top. At all. This is something that maybe has caught them a couple of times. Okay. Mary does have a little bit of a float, as we call it. That is the hand motion is away from the broom to the outside. 
and very different than her thirds, Heather Smith Dacey's. Truly, watch Mary when she releases this stone. It's not a bad release, it's something she does often, but the movement is out a little bit. So what that means is the rock will run straight for a greater distance of time than perhaps Heather, who tends to throw a moving stone. See the motion out, and that's why it ran straighter and why she clipped it across the top. A little frustration on her face. Come on. I, I know, but the odds, of me, the odds of me hitting it are pretty darn good. I think we can try and straight back. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Do you guys like the tap? A couple of options. If they ever get the five out, though. I know. The only other thing is if well, you draw the face of it. Okay. Like how? This uh, way? Well, that's the only way, yeah. Yeah. Or what if we block it up? What does she have? We still have that seven. Is that Even there? if we get to the is that top off of the there? eight foot. The seven? That's too flat. Or off our three? Well, we, we got to make sure we score here. Yeah. I don't think she'd go for that. No, how, but we can always, for our second point. Oh, okay. Right? If we okay. block that off. Do you guys like blocking it off? Do you like freezing to it? I don't know how to, though, Janet. Well, it's a pretty wide point. We can try it as long as we stay out there. Yeah. Okay. We just can't tick the four. It, it's just because the ice is not the same at all. Oh, I know. <laughs> just confirming what we've been talking about. Right That's skinny. Lots of room. Really? Sherry well, just can worried more. about ticking this stuff yeah, because right now it's a protection for this. The four. They use the a lot of port, numbers. The four rock is the yellow guard. She also referred to the two rocks way on the left side of the house. One yellow one almost and if I'm touching short, the foam fine. divider. And then the blue one that is partly in as a Maybe possible a bit more, out. If she gets into big trouble, she can hit and roll off those. Like so this? Madaw with Trying the hammer looking at all the options. There's one of them that she's looking at for her well, hit and roll if she needs it. Well, I, I'm, I mean, she gets rid of it. We either guard it or Sherry. we attempt this. Well, we can attempt it, and if I come up short, fine. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're taking a ton of ice. So what am I throwing? Three and a half? She's coming out on top of it. Okay. Now, it looks like a fairly large hole. The rocks are slightly staggered, the difficult way to come through, and it's mostly the fact that the ice is curling so hard near center line Where? that closes down these ports Whoa, for the no skip. Line. No line. Once it starts to break, no because we've seen them almost go no sideways, line. there's not a lot no. of room, and she's really worried no. about moving the top Whoa. Yellowstone. Whoa. Rock is hanging Whoa. right there. No. I think we would have been okay. We just had to move a little bit more. I think my white was pretty good. She yeah. moved the four, didn't she? She didn't. Oh. Just what do you got of this, uh, Kelly? Oh, I'm sorry, Heather. It's right there. Three, three quarters. See, but are we hitting that? The other thing there? is, you can come here. She's not. I'm a damn hard time getting two. Lock us Side up four. hammer. This is a harder shot. I mean, you'd, the likelihood of you leaving her, just because we're not sure where to put the broom. Yeah, I know, but I'm, that's a small port. I wonder if we give. If we well, then just uh, make her play a bump and throw a guard. I mean, she's still got the. Oh, she's still got this top. She's gonna yeah. play that all day. Yeah. What do you guys like? Uh, Can't get shot. It's hard to get in there. Well, you could get shot. But. I think you. I think you play the guard or the double. I I, I like the double too. Mm. Right well, I kind of like six. the guard, but she's just got a bump of well, here. The thing I'm concerned about is you coming over the top of it. Well, I guess you're just going to send it into there. Oh, like yeah. I mean, you could you could actually hit this too thin and send it right into those. Yeah. 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 I, I prefer the guard personally, but I think she's probably just going to play this, though, isn't she? I know. Okay. I think she does. Okay. I just don't know. That's just a hard port to get through. She threw that really well, and it hung the whole way. That wasn't too much weight. Mm -mm. Doesn't matter. Look where it, it only ticked it. Let's go for it. Are they trying to decide if they go for the big shot? That's the double. Get rid of the rock in the four-foot area, or just try to block Sherry's chance yeah. of scoring two. 
really two options they're talking about. Heather Smith's pre preference is to no guard it off. How does she get two? But what they're saying is, well, what she'll easily do Hands is tap this Janet Stone to lie two. They don't want to do that. Into the, two? the way they feel it's they can get out of this. I think it's going underneath it. Okay. Is to remove both. <clears throat> I open up. If I open up that center. Of that's, course, the big concern on playing this double is really you have strong. to hit it on the broom side, and that means a little bit of a danger of perhaps oh, shooting it over and over. putting mm -hmm. it into so position where Sherry might have a draw for three. three. Oh, a little more than that, Heather. You can see she can't Heel. see quite all of it, but she needs to hit it on the outside to make the double. about exactly what they talked about prior to throwing the shot. Oh, bad luck. That's what I didn't like. <laughs> I didn't even see that. No, I did. Huh? That's what I said to you. Anywhere on the outside, you can see that the only motion's going to be into the pile of blue ones that were there. We showed you that earlier. It's what Heather Smith Dacey was worried about. It's exactly what happens. And so now, all of a sudden, the Daw has an opportunity to take three. I was afraid not. Okay, okay. well, you threw over oh, there, so. You know, it's little so. things, okay. too. It's not just the fact that you're giving up points, but yeah. I mentioned that after the fifth more. end, it looked like the Manitou team had some momentum, and this end, they had pretty good control. As long as the weight's over there. you hate to give the, the momentum same. back, if you're Mary, to Sherry Madoff. Because my second one down here, this is the pretty much the same spot. Yeah. I don't think we can get line, Janet. All we need to do is bite the four. I, I can't see the four. Yeah, but that's pretty high guard. No, four. I know, I know. No, a little less, please. Janet's preference was to do but this, bite a well, piece of the four. Yeah. Sherry just feels that this is the best and the only way to get to the four, and so because she's throwing it, Okay, she's so was skip, my weight fine, or was I? She gets okay. to pick. What's that? Now, they did just play this spot. It didn't quite work out for them. It didn't curl. So do you make a bit of adjustment here on the ice? I think that she'll probably throw a little less. She felt that she had good weight and that it just ran really straight. And if she's going to tick on something, she'd rather probably tick on the yellow one because it's over curling than have to just stand and watch it go by. Line Sitting yep. two. This is a draw for the third point for yep. Sherry Madoff. And an yep. end that looked like That's it wasn't going to have... Yep. An easy shot. This isn't that easy, but a good chance for three. It looked like the weight was good, just curled too much, and so it is two for Sherry Madal. And we're seeing the lead bounce back and forth now. It's Madal ahead for three. Well, the first stop on WTSN for the Luberdurm Women's Tour of Curling was in Calgary. It was last weekend. It was the Kathy King rink that won the bonds field, the Husky, Husky Autumn Gold Cash field. That's Kate Horn, Brenda Bomer, Lonnie McDonald, and Kathy King. And that is a team that is preparing for the Olympic trials, so look out. This week, of course, is London. Next week, Winnipeg. And the final weekend in our true stops is in Saskatoon as we round out the women's cash field circuit. And a number of teams, as we've talked about preparing for the trials, that's a team like Sherry Madal, who just got that big two in the last end. And then there is the group of teams like Mary Matatal, who are aiming for the later date, the Scott Tournament of Hearts. It is a unique season in that there are two major goals for many teams. And for many teams like Sherry Madal, maybe they want to try to do it all, and that makes it more challenging. The biggest difference is for teams like Kathy. Uh, King, who we saw last weekend, for Kelly Law, who was there last weekend, and all those great teams that will be in Regina, is that they have to be 
at the peak of their game in about five weeks from now, the first Early. week of December. For Mary, she's got a little bit more time for their team to gel. They've got until January when their playdowns begin to get to the Scott Tournament of Hearts. It's in Brandon, Manitoba this year. Needs to come down. No, no, don't. That long yellow stone you see was the first guard thrown <laughs> by Sherry Cordina. Would have liked it a lot tighter. And here are the numbers for the leads, Kathy. Pretty even, 10% is, is significant, but you know, you look at the numbers, the biggest thing for Kelly, of course, is the percentage is not particularly yeah. high in her hits. She had two of them. Not bad for the lead position, for sure. Sherry having a good game. Control. Whoa. Andrea hoping to hit and roll Whoa. this behind the two guards Whoa. that have built up on the center already. Yeah. Decision when it's not going to go, call it early and try to roll to the other way to take the roll away from Mary Matatal's team. Mary looking at whether there's a double there. I think hit and sit right there. Go, Lady. Deciding no. Regular. It's a late finish here. This is a unique stop on the tour. Most of the bond spills are whoa, supported by a whoa, major whoa. sponsor. This one is in aid for the care and cure of breast cancer. And through a pro-am that's held earlier in the week in a silent auction, the group of women that put this on, this is the fifth Don't time that this has come <laughs> to pass, raise money for breast cancer research. And during the course of this weekend, about $15,000 will be added to the 50,000 raised previously for some great research into breast cancer. That's a tremendous cause, and it's a, a very nice uh, bit of work that is done here. Both the Pro-Am and the Silent Auction raise considerable funds to go to specific projects in this area. So yeah. congratulations to the committee for doing Hurry. that work. Hurry! Quick. Hurry, guys! Right up, right up! Hurry! It's rock curling, working hard oh, to well. remove the bluestone and stick around. Now, I talked about the matchup at second and kind of surprising numbers there. They are indeed, but I think that we look back to the fourth end and the great shot made by Andrea. Her percentage is not particularly high, although she certainly has made some big shots when they counted. But as an average, we would suggest that both of these players would be disappointed with the numbers that they're showing today. And Mary has decided that it's the moment for a bit of a bailout to try and open things up. Okay. And removed one from play. Still leaves one guard, although that does belong to Mary Manitol's team. You may have seen Laney in the stands right over here. the course of a couple of years, particularly last year at the World Championships as the fifth player for Colleen Jones, the reigning world and Canadian this champion. Sherry with her score of two last wow. end has relinquished last rock and pretty happy with the position of Whoa. the stone that's in the house. It's in the forefoot, asking Janet Brown to place her stone tight to the house, protect as, acting as another oh, protection baby. for the stone in the forefoot. Whoa. That's good, Janet. Nicely done. Okay, let's try. Just sit right there, Heather. We do something with it. Okay. Firm. There's a possible double there if the rock in front of the house is struck on the broom side. Yep, yep, quick hard. Hard, hard. Called right out of her hand. Quick. Mary looking what? at the option that you spoke whoa. about, Linda, knowing if they hit it on the whoa. outside at all. Whoa, whoa, There's a good whoa. chance whoa. that both yeah, may go. Hit it a little thick. And that stone remains protected. They've really struggled with the line on those run backs. They had all that trouble in the fourth end trying to move a rock off the forefoot yeah. and things just missing on those run backs. That again seemed to straighten a bit. 
It did, and it's, it is a definite art in this game to make the decision early enough to an option play or to cut your losses and just let her curl. Some days those seem to all really go in your favor, and some days, and so far in Mary Manitou's no case, line. it just hasn't worked for her at all. No line. No line. No line. Janet Brown with another no intern line. draw, trying to bring it to the face or behind yeah. the rock. Whoa, Don't want to rub whoa, off whoa. the edge of the rock in the house. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice shot, Janet. Yeah, nice shot. Okay. What did you get? How much can you see, Heather? Well, we've got that, or we could try with just board and sit there. Or you can just come down to it. Well, you'd have to bump it back then. Oh, okay. I like that. Just bump it back. Okay. Back four. Um. Ooh, yeah. Heather, not sure. She's wondering if they could just freeze down on top of it. Mary, letting her know that that stone stopped in front of the T line, and so for them to be shot, they need to bump it back. Need for a big shot here. They're scrambling whoa, a bit. Whoa, she's out there. Out there. Line's good. Whoa. Oh, wait on the move. Room. Oh, whoa, girl. Unless you really have to. No. Let it curl. No. Sit, 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 sit. Just never had the line. Okay, nice to come here again shot for now okay if we know that it's not the end of the world right no because then rather, to get a double yeah sheet. i'd rather nose it than to roll out yeah. but this would be perfect i think they're with control okay and if we know that that's fine right yep okay now if she happens to get that little roll that she's talking about what is she leaving the other team m and m <laughs> that's about it there's nice not a whole a lot. Of a flop if we nose it, that's fine too. Yep. The nose is fine because if she makes the nose, her stone will be biting the top of the forefoot and the rock that is protected by the guard would in fact be shot. But with a roll, oh boy, Linda, does she put pressure on Mary Manitou. She would be lying three, two of them in the forefoot, all behind cover. Now it's close. Yeah! Yeah. 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 Oh, nice shot. Another one where you have the skip and the third calling different things usually it means it's going to turn out pretty well and nice Good little call. shot. Good shot. Always makes you happy when you hear that because you know you're close. The old right off really call hard. is not particularly <laughs> Never a good moment. Fishtail going. <laughs> well, you know, it's kind of close when it's in. Yeah. Photo of the all-star skip yeah, in the 1996 Scott Tournament of Hearts. No, you need to get here to here to here. Make the double. Roll over here. What do you think? Yeah, but I'm hit. I'm rolling out. I can't make the double. How can I do that without rolling out? Hitting it there. You don't think you'll stay around? No. Well, I'd be happy with you rolling out if you got okay. those two off the forefoot. Okay. I want to make sure you have a shot. Yeah. Let's okay. Play, uh, I thought my firm one here and threw you good and it just not much more than you can say. It's pretty. a mess for Mary Matatal. I'm thinking firm. Try and get it off the forefoot. She really wants to drive this back. Her concern with the double, is she gonna roll out? You bet she will, because she's gotta throw lots of weight. What you heard Heather say is get these two rocks off the forefoot. Give yourself a shot for your next one, Mary.
Okay. Well, she removed one. She rolled to the open. Mission accomplished. Well, not really. It was a very a thin shot, and I think sometimes when you line shot. up those doubles, uh, well, even in the last end, they okay. had trouble lining up the doubles. Those angle that. shots sometimes are just double, not figured out as well as you might want to sure. now. The only good thing is, no matter what happens here, you might have a view of the button. If anything, nose or roll that way. Right. You heard her. Whoops. She wants to split the rock in half. What she wants to do is remove this stone. If she sits there, that's not the end of the world. She'd also be very happy you guys like this, to roll over guard. here. Does not like want to roll in. What's that? What's that? Four seven to one. Oh, that's not an easy one either. I think so. Control. You heard one of the other options that Sherry was talking about is they could have elected to throw the tight guard to protect yep. the stone. Yep. It's yep. a shot. Yep. Take yep. away the draw. This one is really curling. Yeah, right going for a piece up. now. Okay, that's fine. And they got it. What's that? Where did you give me? Yeah. That's where I gave you, right there. Okay. And so you? You it would be fine if I hadn't flipped yeah. it, so that's good. Yeah. Facing two. Good conversation, too, because they were referring back earlier in this end. There was a draw by Heather Smith Daisy that did not lessons. curl, and they had the discussion. Heather she felt she didn't she throw it as well. We've seen lots of rocks come down that? by both yeah. teams where she they're not the really sure Where'd about them. And so she passed on that information. Then you can judge your ice. You bet. One of the, uh, the options is the, the cold draw here. Mary saying that she's taking the ice so that she'll sort of tick the one on the forefoot and roll and half, towards right? the center. She feels it gives her a little bit more to play with. Facing two, she does need to find the button area with yep, this rock. Line, line's good, whoa! Still yeah, looking at yeah, about 14 yeah. seconds on that rock clock. We are yeah. indeed. She's close hard. with weight. Hard for weight. It's hard. a question of line. She's hard, got hard, lots hard, of weight. Hard, Will hard, she hard. have enough to tap it through the forefoot because she's on the nose? No, no. not quite. Yeah. It's a steal. Sugar. Wouldn't quite roll into the button area, and that's a fairly big <laughs> point for Sherry Madaw. It's one of the risks that you take, Linda, when you take tight ice to bounce off. If this was a straight draw, she was right on the M&M, &M, but because she hit it on the nose, she had to hit it farther to move it out of the house. Just curled too much. Not enough weight to roll in, and that is a steal of the single point for the yellow team. That's Sherry Madaw now with a two-point lead. Don't forget to stay tuned for WTSN Connects. It's Norma Wick with information on the national and international women's sports scene, and you'll see it at 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific. That's right before our second semifinal which is a bit of a national international as well because we have uh, the team from Switzerland playing one of Canada's Olympic trials hopefuls this evening. And we see the information on the g game so far. Now, we were just chatting about some of the significant things that have happened. Okay, and right unfortunately for Mary Matatal, when you see that she's down a couple of points, it's been two things that have happened on her shots. Unfortunately, the sixth end, per perhaps a questionable call. We talked about it, a tough double that she tried. And whoa, last nice. end, as whoa, you whoa, said, whoa, she whoa. had the perfect draw weight and played whoa, whoa. the tick, roll in front. so the line yep. wasn't there. So a couple of shots whoa, for her that she may like back yep. when she looks back whoa. on that part of the game. Uh, time to get nice throw. Okay. Nice you weight. can see that Cherry Madaw has tried to pull the play into the house. But the first one in, corner guard went Control. up, second yellow in, and there was Pretty the hit. Straight there. Now, in this kind of game where the ice is a bit tricky and you 
You've seen the score bounce back and forth. How comfortable are you with your Sherry Madaw with this two-point lead? Probably much more comfortable than Mary Madadol is well, now, two points right well, now. Then. But I, I just don't see a lot of comfort on a lot of faces right now. Two points uh, in the free guard zone is considered pretty much well, a tie if you yeah, go with the theory rock, that yeah. if you have less rock, yeah. you can score two. And normally, I mean, it's, it's certainly a comfort zone in that she stole that point. She's going to be feeling Maybe a little more settled. But when the ice is, is, a, is a little bit difficult and, yep. and you're fighting hard, and let's not forget, too, that in the sixth end, no, the fifth end, going away, Sherry was facing four when it came to her last rock. She made it, or her first stone, she made a great come around. Those are the things that you got to do if you're going to win championships, if you're going to win games, and Sherry's been doing them, but she's had a little bit of help, as you say, with Mary. So I think that both teams are very confident in knowing this game is far from over. Wait, pretty good. Laney Peters. Needs it if you want to bump it good. Whoa, whoa. Which one do you want to Mary bump? hoping to just bump the yet. stones belonging to the Madaw Double team to the back of the oh, house. Yeah. Wants yep, to yep. keep them in play. No, we don't have to wait. Maybe get some jams. Nice way. Think right here. Nose isn't awful. Try and roll here. Okay. Sherry Control. wanting to roll in front of the stone in the back of the forefoot belonging to Sherry Cordina's first stone. Yeah, yeah. Ask for at the top Control. of the house by sliding behind the T-line. That's something that becomes the advantage of Team Mattatal. Yes. Let's go. If you're wondering about the time, we've seen quite a few conversations about shots. Both teams a little tight on time. We do get the 73 minutes yeah. plus two one minute timeouts and have not used those right timeouts up. as yet. Hurry! Just down under 20 Hurry. minutes at this point. A little bit, Sherry. Good shot. 73 minutes is, I think, agreed by most. Quite a bit of time to play a game. And one of, one of the biggest reasons that they've Getting started to use in time here. clocks in Bonsville right. play is yep. because they do want games to continue to move. And while discussion is really good and it really helps us to understand better what's going on in the minds of curlers, sometimes it can just get carried on a little bit too long. Right. Yep. Time clocks yep. just move it along a little bit. Hard. Quick. Down two, not really wanting Red to have hard. to hit, but at this point, Concerned about three rocks, all eating a piece of that forefoot. Okay. And just not getting the rolls. They would have loved Control to have rolled in front of one good. of the other right two yellow fine. stones, and it sits right there. <clears throat> Pretty clear for Sherry what she needs to do up two points. Eliminate blue stones. was a good scrub. Interesting, too, that we see the two different styles of brooms. We see the Madaw team with the synthetic fabric here, broom Anna. and the other team hey. with hair. Preference? I would suggest on this particular ice, the uh, the brush, uh, the brooms that you're looking at right now belonging team to Team Matatal would be more effective. We find that often when there's frost build up, uh, the synthetic brooms tend to get wet really quick and they, they aren't as effective on this kind of ice. So different brooms are good for different reasons. And just by virtue of the kind of conditions that we've got out here today, these are the sticks you're looking at right now Whoa. that probably would be the best Whoa. for the conditions. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa. And of course, Whoa. you can Whoa. switch Lady, with Lady Canadian Lady. rules. If you decide during the game that the ice is changing and you want to make a switch, you are permitted to do so as long as you carry around those extra type in your bag. Which turn do you like, Janet? And here are the numbers on the thirds. Some pretty yeah, tough numbers for Heather okay. Smith Dacey, and we remind you back to the uh, pivotal fourth that. end that we talked about, where, uh, or even the last end, where a lot of Heather's shots are tap backs with board weight, they're hits, and they're all the straight backs, and those are either the four points oh. or the zero, pretty much. Oh. You're either making them or not, and so no. I don't know whether they scored oh, them as draws please. or hits because oh, they were kind of in the middle, but I would suggest her ah. numbers have a lot to do with that. Oh, we got a good chunk of it. Okay, that's fine. Rolling out of play. 
our guard in top one. How do you get here is the question. Mayor? You don't like that? What do you guys like? Well, discussion again, whether you play the freeze or the hit and roll on the front stone. He's guard if we do that, she's guarding. Or coming in for second shot. So the double and roll's not there. What's that? The double and roll's not there. Well, no. Okay. Hit the double, you're hitting and growing here. Mary's okay. inclination. Whatever looks good. To play it the it looks good from here, but yeah. Heather likes the double from the hack. For Mary, I think she wants to make sure that they can score two here. She's trying to get this aggressive game going. For Heather, I think she's looking at that corner guard thinking, how can we use this? And if we hit that stone to roll behind the corner guard, do we not also t make the double? Oh, that looks like a ton of weight. She's got to move. Oh, here it comes. Line's great. Line's getting better. Well, weight only. Whoa, it's not even on it. No, it's going to come a lot more. It's just another one where they never it's had the line. Right the right Weight was pretty close. If you tap it straight back, not They're so just bad. Like just it. never curled enough. There's the horse hairs that we talked about that on frost tend to break it down a little bit better and make a smoother path for the rock. And there's the other ones that we talked about, the synthetic fibers that work extremely well in many circumstances. You don't run the risk of losing hairs, but oh. on this kind of ice, sometimes they just don't seem to pull a rock as okay. far. Right over here? I think so. Normal. Yep. Goes pretty straight and then just finishes at the end. Team Adaw using synthetic. Eliminate the blue one. Wanting to roll way over here, or way over here. I guess just roll to your side. Don't want to create really like sort of nose. a little trench back really there. Like the roll under. What's that? Well, just be behind the T line. Oh. Okay, normal weight. We've seen that focused look Please. on Sherry's yes. face a yes. lot. Yes. Coming right at us, throwing the intern hit. Yes. 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 Curling hard at the end, they saw this earlier. Yes. Looks pretty nice. And we talk about struggles, and the numbers show a bit of a struggle at the skip position. Indeed they do. I think that, you know, even if her numbers were great, Mary would take the one back in the, the fourth for sure. Those are only scored out of four, but consistently she has had some difficult shots and has had some trouble with the ice about how her rocks will move versus her third Heather right Daisy Smith, or Heather Smith Daisy, rather. What kind of split did you get? There's that wall that she's been waiting to come down to. She'd like to be in front, but anywhere up there so makes it difficult for Sherry to remove without driving on, onto one of her no, own. Just uh, hold the tee line. Now that was a very good point in what you drew and what Mary just said. You don't want to take it back to those rocks because then your opponent can follow you right down in front of them, but in front of the tee line or near the tee line is perfect. Whoa, then. Question of line. Whoa, then. Well, it's got to curl a mile. Whoa, 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 Kelly, don't even look at it. Ran pretty straight. Okay. Um, well, I think we can roll one. That was a 13. It's good weight. If we had a had the better line, we would have gotten in there a bit more. Yeah, I don't think you need to. Uh, okay. Here's a rock that's shot, so of course they want to remove it. Again, okay, I'd like to normal. roll away or roll right Mine in. Do the same roll. Either way, just don't want to sit off. there. Makes it pretty difficult for Mary to miss that little smiley that would be created if she hits and sticks right there.
Now, would you ever play it so you would hit it and try and actually oh, yeah. remove the blue and your yellows and just leave nothing but the cold yeah. forefoot for the other team? Yeah. Sure, in fact, yeah. in many ways, that's a far more difficult shot than having the back in, which she's gonna have no matter what, Linda. Ooh, they worked hard to get that by. That's good. It's not a bad shot, though. As I said, you take away a bit of the pocket. I think oh, that's the that best shot she could have made. We it popped so up the house, and Mary's got the cold draw. That's what we wanted, but what's that? Nice. That's what we wanted, but yeah, uh, maybe not the most comfortable way to do it because <laughs> she just squeaks by the front one, but not a bad shot to get the action on the shooter and move some things out of the back of the pocket. And you saw that rocket yeah, actually kind of moves like up the house. Yeah because like this one just came back here, and that one just moved up. Mm -hmm. and you just it's well, a great you, shot. You just feel that momentum. I talked about it uh, where Mary Matatal had a couple of very good ends and was kind of pulling the play her way. Boy, is it flip-flop back <coughs> now. Take a little bit less ice. And all of a sudden, everything seems to be very hard. This is a cold draw to the button. Having to come by your opponent's rock and find the range near the pin okay, guys, to score the point. The Whoa, line's good, up to Whoa. you. Yep, yep. She said she threw 13 Bro. last time. It would have been to the Bro. back of the eight foot. Yep, line. Room, room, room. Now will it stop? Has to hit the button, no. Will it stop in time? No, all the way to the back okay, of the three. house. It is a steal of three oh, for there. Sherry Madaw. Left side, wait. And it is those last few rocks of Mary's and a couple of ends that have really caused them problems. How many did they get? It's a huge steal for Sherry Madaw. Mary Matatal will try and get them back next end. Oh, wow. Clear. Let's look at the key shots of the last in, brought to you by Luberderm. And first of all, this is Sherry Madaw's last rock on the hit. And it's not only made, but it is made better than the hit and roll to the outside she called. She, they sweep this hard to get it by, but watch what happens to the shooter. It rolls up the house right behind that top one, making it really tough for Mary. And this last one is a draw to the button, cold draw. And once again, just a little too heavy, and it slides, it slides. So last end, I asked the question about the comfort zone for Sherry Madaw, maybe not as comfortable then with the two-point lead, but look at the steals, and look at how many times Sherry Madaw's actually held the hammer, only twice in this game. And those big steals, fourth end, and then of course the last two ends to take the five-point lead. One of the things that we talk about with the four-guard zone is that the team that does not have last rock is often at the advantage because they can put the rocks where they want. But to give credit where it's due, Sherry's also made some big shots, and Mary okay. just, you know, had some bad breaks go her way, and things just have not worked out so well. Nope, not going to do a lot Sherry not looking for any rocks in play at all anymore. She's got her 8-3 lead with two ends to go. She called her first one through, and they'll be okay? just trying to bang everything else left in play. Now for Mary, she is trying to keep things in perspective. I'm sure this is a team that is coming together with a goal, and that's to reach the Scott Tournament of Hearts in February. What kind of uh, lessons, uh, this game's not over, but what kind of lessons do you take from this game so far? You take a lot. You take the fact that your team has played really, really well this weekend, that you had a really tough pool. Uh, Lucia Evnother, who will be playing tonight from Switzerland, was in her pool. Uh, she finished second. They're, s they're still out there playing, so she didn't have an easy pool. They come into this game, and we talked about momentum, Linda. You did earlier on in the game. I don't think there's any question the momentum was with Mary. They had the things going their way. I think that one of the things that you look at is that sometimes because a double looks tempting, you don't play it. You look at the risks of not making a shot versus, a you know, if we make it, we're lying four. And that's where the whole game started to really shift. Whoa, whoa. But you build on this. You build no, no, on no, this and the fact no, that your team did some things very, very well. And they've got lots Kelly. of time to get ready for what they hope to be a Scott Chairman of Heart appearance in Brandon. 
And keep in mind the province that they come from will have two representatives this year because Colleen Jones, by virtue of having won Canada last year, is Team Canada and is returned by Scott Paper to the Canadian Championship. And don't forget when we saw that scoring graphic for sharing the Daw that it was in the fifth end where Mary Matatal had them in all kinds of trouble. She had last rock Mary Matatal, but it was one big shot by Sherry Madaw, a nice freeze tap back <laughs> that got her team out of trouble. And boy, did that change things. You bet. All of a sudden, Mary is forced to have to take two when she was looking at maybe five or six. So a great shot. And, and Mary made a great shot that end for her two points. No, no easy. Winning team here has the evening off and will come back tomorrow night for the final no, against the winner of our evening game nothing. tonight. Also going on this weekend are yeah, the good. Prestige in Triple Classic. Uh, Cashville and Kelowna will be getting the results for you later yeah. on today, as well as the Sun Life Financial yeah. Grand Prix that's in Thunder Bay. Three. Other events on the tour is the Granite Three. Green Gold in Edmonton. So Three. lots going on on the women's right, curling tour this weekend. Right over, right over. Sponsored by Luberderm. That's good. Okay, we got a little guard. Mary wants to use everything that's in play. There's one guard up, so hopefully yeah. they can scoot around that and bury three or four. <laughs> yeah, at this point, you're looking for any little opening to get a couple of points. To go back there. Now, no matter what happens, though, I was always impressed as a skip if my team stayed focused and really concentrated on every shot because no matter what happens, first of all, I'm a person that says never give up. There's always a rock left. I mean, there's always a chance for a point. But that also well, says a lot for your mental preparation okay, later, like, for the kind of team the you've got to hang in there when the going gets tough. Mine's it's very good. easy to Mine's be a front good. runner yeah, and back, to, right to be right a winner, here. but yep. part of this game oh, and in any sport That's is to be down and Far know simple. that the odds are not nice very way, good, uh, that you're gonna be able to do it, but it builds a lot of character if you can stay as fighting. Think firm, try and roll out. Lots of cash on the line. $9,000 goes to the winner in this cash spiel. The runner-up, 5,000. The semi-finalist, 2,500. And if you reach the quarterfinals yeah. held earlier today, you take yeah. home 1250 Total purse of $30,000. You're at the Southwestern Ontario Women's good. Cash Spiel. That's good. I follow you through it good. That's good. A couple of rocks building up in there. Both of them are in front of the T line, though, so Sherry's not too disappointed with where those are. Just bump it back. Yep. And for Mary, not wanting any sort of weight that they might lose the shooter, and so just trying to tap the stone back a bit. Yep, a little tight. Line's, oh, line's good. okay. Line's whoa, whoa. fine. Line's good. Line's good. You got a lot of room. Yep, yep. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Doesn't want to remove it from play, just wants to tap it back. Good brush. Could have the just a little bit heavy. Well, no, Taps the rock all, all the way out. Over there out. Yep. Okay, just control. So that it's makes it easier for Sherry Madaw to remove. is good or a little roll to the center just trying control yep exactly Now, one yeah. of the things you mentioned yeah. is that uh, Shereen yeah. Madal actually well, did well Three. here last year. Three. She qualified for the yeah. Provincials yeah. through a round yeah. at this very club. Yeah. They did. Sherry was telling us before the game they like this club. They played a lot of games here. In Ontario, there is a challenge round. It is what they call sort of the back door if you don't win your particular zone to get into the Ontario playdowns. And this is where Sherry and her team, exactly the same team that you see out here, won that that led them <laughs> on to a victory for Ontario. And into the Canadian Scott Tournament of Hearts. 
And if you look down the information they provided us, they've also been successful in Regina the Black first week of December at a cash spiel in a previous year, last year actually, winning $14,000 last year at the SAS Power Sandra Schmerler Classic. You'd think that that maybe bodes well for yep. things coming up. The curling trials held All in right. Regina yep. that Gotta very go. same week of this year. Yeah. Oh, holy yep. extrapolation, well, Batman. Good one, <laughs> Linda. Okay. We're on the nose. I was thinking this year she won the Thanksgiving Bondsville weekend, the SGI Classic in the Agrodome, which of course is where right. uh, the Olympic trials will be okay. the same weekend that her husband Control. Wayne was Unwise. winning uh, the SGI men's version. I want to get into that family somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of cash being Oof. brought home there. Great season for both Control. of them. Yeah, that was more normal. Okay. Whatever. Sure, he'd like to stick around on this. She doesn't <laughs> need the extra points, but continue to put pressure because these guys are not just about throwing rocks. They want to continue to execute well. They know that they will go on to play another game, a final. And it's important that you throw yep. the first one and the last one just as well. Easy. Yep. 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 Right up. Clean. Clean, clean, clean. clean. Nice shot. Nicely done. Mary not spending a lot of time. I think if the score was much closer, you might see her draw here. I think she's just going to hit, and we might see the gloves come off. A very good run for Mary Matatal in this bond spiel could come to an end here. But as you said, a lot of positive things have come from their play this weekend. score will be Sherry Madaw 8, Mary Matatal 4, and it will be Sherry Madaw moving on to the finals of this cash field. And that is a very good point from the skipper. Tough ice conditions and adjusting to it very well in this game. They have a berth in the final and looking for some big cash Monday night. This is a Southwestern Ontario <laughs> women's cash spiel here on WTSN. Imagine creating more. The Lubriderm Women's Tour of Curling is brought to you by Husky and Mohawk Retailers and Mother Nature's Fuel Ethanol Gasoline. Discount Car and Truck Rental, the people who pick you up. For reservations, call 310 Cars. A couple of big shots from Sherry Madaw in this game, but really the killer for the Matatal team was this shot in the eighth end. Oh, it was, Linda. If she hits and sticks, Mary Matadal's got a wall to hit on or to draw on, but she makes this shot great, rolls up the house, makes a very, very tough draw for Mary. She didn't make it, slid through the house and gave up a steal of three. And so it was 8-4, the victory for Sherry Madaw moves them on to the finals. The Luberdoom Women's Tour of Curling is in its second week. Remember, last weekend in Calgary, it was Kathy King from Alberta taking that title. Well, here, we know that Cherie Madaw has moved on. Will it be Marie-France LaRouche or Lucia Ebnotter? We'll know later on today. Then Winnipeg and then Saskatoon rounds out our tour. This is the Southwestern Ontario Women's Cash Spiel.